Well, the Astros are hoping to win the World Series tonight. Jeremy Pena seems relaxed like he's been this entire postseason. Has game six coming up here against the Phillies who try to save their season. Reese Hoskins getting set in the cage. We've got game six coming right up here on Fox. All year long, you grind, you work, you dream. You imagine this game, this opportunity, this moment. Gone! Of course he did! Oh, baby! Saves the day! Now it's all in front of you. Waiting his whole career for a moment like this. Whether it's the culmination of everything you've imagined. And he's done it again! He's at the wall, makes the grab! Or the chance to stay alive, to keep up hope for another shot. It's gone! It's not over yet! Clutch team comes through! Wow, this is like something straight out of a movie. This is it. The swing of his life! You've given everything for this. Gone! Wow! Right here, right now. World Series Game 6 starts now on Fox. The World Series on Fox pregame show is brought to you by Geico. There's a live look at Minute Maid Park in Houston. Site of this game six where the Phillies will try to save their season. Bryce Harper having a chat with manager Rob Thompson. Harper and company going to have to be big tonight to keep their season alive as we welcome you. That's right, inside. Well, these fans have been loud for a while now, and we're just getting started. To the pregame show, they are in party mode. We'll see if the Astros can deliver. Meanwhile, for the Philadelphia fans, tough day for the Union in soccer. They're hoping a better result in baseball tonight. Here with my guys, Frank Thomas, Big Herb, the Hall of Famer, Big Poppy, David Ortiz, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, I'm Kevin Burkhart. Now, here at home, Astros haven't been so great in the postseason, right? In the regular season, they've been great. But in the World Series since 2017, just four and eight. You look at what's happened, and they've lost clinching games here by the opponent twice. The Braves did it. The Nationals did it back in 2019. So now, with that in mind, Alex, how do the Phillies save their season? We know it's been done by visitors before. It, it could be done. It's going to be very hard. But for Phillies, it's gone from festival to funeral in 48 hours. There were a game at home, and all of the last two games, look, to manufacturing runs, situational hitting. This guy's better than I do. With a guy like Valdez, if you try to pull him, you're dead duck. Uh, first of all, the funeral. I like that. <laughs> Look, guys, Wheeler need to come like the Wheeler that we know. He need to come strong. I believe that he had to give them seven good innings, Frank, to be able to survive in this jungle. And besides that, right-handed hitter need to step in and hit Valdez as well. They need to show up tonight because the left-handed batter is going to have some issues facing Valdez tonight. I guarantee you that. Well, I think it starts with it, with Willow's health tonight. Is he healthy? Will, will we see the guy we saw the rest of the postseason, or will we see the guy we saw in game two? So tonight, it's going to be health of Willer. He's the right man for the moment. If he's pitching well, he can shut down this Houston Astros lineup, and anything can happen when you get to game seven. So I, it starts and stops with me with, with the help of Willer tonight. And, and don't forget, fellas, their defense betrayed him a little bit. Hoskins in the eighth inning had a pretty easy play to get Altuve at home. That cost him a run. Marsh strikes out with a man on third, less than two outs. That's a two-run swing, Kevin. They lost three to two. My point is, against a guy like Valdez, on the road, they have to be perfect. Yeah, and Frank, you're talking about the health just for people that don't know. Got hit with a line drive a couple starts ago on the knee, so don't know if that's affecting him, but it seemed to his last start. Well, let's bring in Ken Rosenthal now. Of course, our insider will be on the broadcast a little bit later. And Ken, the Astros, it's going to be weird for them because Yuli Gurriel has played in all 85 postseason games during this run. He's not going to be out there for this World Series, though. Explain, Ken. 
Well, Dusty Baker said Yuli Gurriel had tears in his eyes when he realized he couldn't play because of that knee injury he suffered in Game 5. Gurriel, as you said, Kevin, has been a mainstay during the Astros' six-year run, and he was their leading hitter in the postseason, batting 347 with just one strikeout in 50 plate appearances. So, how do the Astros replace him? At first base, they're going with Trey Mancini, who is 0 for 18 in the postseason, and they've added a third catcher to their roster, Corey Lee. Now, they've got both Martin Maldonado and Christian Vasquez in their lineup tonight, so the addition of Lee protects them if they make a move and lose Vasquez as their DH. Makes a lot of sense, Ken. We appreciate the update. We will see you a little later, as always. All right, meanwhile, for the Astros, talk about a guy that's been clutch, the rookie, Jeremy Pena. He began the season, remember, in the unenviable position of having to replace one of the Astros' biggest stars, Carlos Correa, who went to the Twins. But Pena, the son of former Major Geronimo Pena, He's certainly been up to the task and then some. He won a gold glove. He became the first rookie shortstop in history to hit a World Series home run. Payne has done it again. Deep Diddy. Diddy ever. Jeremy Pena looking like anything but a rookie. Man, it's a dream come true. You know, you dream of this when you're a little kid playing in the backyard, and uh, yeah, it's a reality. It's been amazing to watch Jeremy play this year. Um, he's so mature. He knows how to deal with success and failure and show up to the ballpark and be the same guy every single day. And he hits this one very hard. We are the Warriors. From someone who really hasn't been able to play full seasons of pro ball ever, comes into the MLB in a situation where he's replacing the best shortstop in baseball and Carlos Correa and just doesn't miss a beat. You know, he's up for, you know, Rookie of the Year. He's been, you know, the ALCS MVP. So, I mean, he's done a phenomenal job this year. And the Astros waste no time. Long and deep. Pena goes big fly. So the mentality is just to be in the moment. We are blessed with this opportunity to be in that situation, doing what we love. And then uh, you just stay calm and play your game. Pena is putting together one of the greatest postseasons we've ever seen from a rookie shortstop, nonetheless. His 35 total bases, already the third most of any rookie in Major League history. That's behind only Randy Arozarena and his teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who Kenny just told you is out now with a knee injury for the rest of the World Series. I, I'm just curious what impresses you the most about what we've seen from him. I mean, everything. We've talked about it all month, October, and now part of November. But if you look at the contrast of signing Correa, Correa signs for $35 million, goes to Minnesota. They get eliminated on September 25th. Jeremy Pena makes 2% of the $35 million. That's $700,000. And he may end up with Rookie of the Year, Go Glove, and back-to-back -back ALC and World Series, and maybe a World Series championship after tonight. That's, uh, that's a pretty good resume. It's about money with you, man. A little ROI. <laughs> In inflation. <laughs> exactly. We'll see what he does on the grandest stage tonight with Game 6 coming your way. And certainly all eyes on Dusty Baker. His illustrious managerial resume is only missing one piece. His players explain what it would mean to win this championship for him when we return. Kyle Swarper, the big bat atop that Phillies lineup there again in left field, looking to power the Phillies and extend their season to a game seven. But it won't be easy against Kyle Tucker and the Astros. World Series champs in 2017, looking to do it again in front of a raucous house here in Houston. There's something on the ship. There's something with us here. What do we do? Get to the escape pods. Go now! Okay, I'm an alien, and I got these claws. I'm climbing the wall now. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Guys? Uh-oh. See how much you could save by bundling with Geico. Is that going to be a problem? It's impossible not to think the worst. But I want you to know that we will get your baby back. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Alert. Series premiere January 8th on Fox. The World Cup has moved to the holidays. Oh, my gooseberries. This is going to make everything wonderful. We've got work to do. We're going to need a ton of stars. And think of the lights. You know what we need? A song. 
Do you have any idea how busy I am this time of year? Okay, maybe not so. Are you eligible for Medicare? See what extra Medicare Part C benefits you could get with Care Plus Health Plans. Should I call? Yes. Call Care Plus today! Most radical politicians hide their ties to extremist groups, but Anthony Nieves founded one. Nieves' agenda, defund our police, disband school resource officers, and the Green New Deal, a $93 trillion socialist scheme funded by massive tax hikes, price hikes. There's no hiding it. Anthony Nieves is too extreme for the mainstream. Paula Stark will cut taxes and safeguard our communities. The right choice for this stark choice. Paula Stark for State House. The future of connectivity is here, where mobile and internet work hand in hand to create one seamless network that works to automatically block threats. Powerful enough to run smart cities, yet made for you. This is Spectrum One. Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and mobile working together as one. That's seamless connectivity. That's Spectrum One. From Medicare? See what extra Medicare Part C benefits you could get with Care Plus Health Plans. Should I call? Yes. Call Care Plus today! The NBA is back, and with FanDuel, this season's looking better than ever. Because right now, new customers get a no-sweat first bet and get up to $1,000 back in free bets if you don't win. Plus, all customers get three months of NBA League Pass with a $5 bet from America's number one sports book. That's right. Not only do you get a no-sweat first bet, you can also watch NBA League Pass on us. Make every moment more with FanDuel. pregame show sponsored by Geico switch today and see all the ways you could save Alex Brightman and the Astros one win away from winning the World Series will they be able to get it tonight in game six at home here in front of their fans Bryce Harper says not so fast as the Phillies looking to extend to a game seven Harper has been tremendous this entire postseason welcome back to the pregame show taking it up to first pitch here in game six and Astros center fielder Chaz McCormick what an unbelievable game saving catch he made in game five in Philly he spoke with our Tom Verducci and stay connected sponsored by Verizon thanks Kevin Chaz McCormick I, I gotta ask you after that catch in game five what have the last 36 hours been like since let's face it dude you went viral yeah yeah it's been uh, crazy I've Try to put the phone down because there's so many messages. Um, a couple of my friends back home did not like that catch one bit, but I loved every second of it. Um, yeah, it's it's the past couple of days have been insane. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to finish the job today. Yeah, let's talk about that. You get to the ballpark today, one win away from a World Series championship for a guy drafted in the 21st round playing for the Millersville Marauders. What does this opportunity mean for you, Chess? Uh, it's special, man. Being one win away, so close. And, you know, Phillies are a great team. It's going to be a battle. They're not going to let up. Um, and obviously just losing the World Series last year is bitter taste. And I know, I know we're really hungry as a team, and, and we would really love to bring this uh, championship back to Houston. So you're prepared to disappoint your buddies back in Philly again? Yes. Yes, I'm hoping so. <laughs> Thanks so much, and good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, KB. All right, Tom, Jazz, thanks so much. Well, Dusty Baker has knocked on the door several times only to come up short. His players reflect on what it would mean to deliver him a championship when we return. Reese Hoskins and the Phillies, they're looking to get those bats hot against one tough customer in Framber Valdez tonight. Valdez and Wheeler, great pitching matchup. It's game six of the World Series. I fuck. Whoa! That's the audience. 
With every generation, the Subaru Forester has been a leader in crash safety. Working to undo the impact a crash can have on your life. Which has led the Forester to even be able to detect danger and stop itself. The Subaru Forester has earned the IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus nine times. More than Honda CRV and Toyota RAV4 combined. Love. It's what makes Subaru Subaru. Spend your mornings with us. Good day, Orlando. Everything you need to wake up. Get ready to head out the door and still put a smile on your face. Wake up your day with Good Day Orlando. My husband and I got rear-ended by a careless driver, and attorney Dan Newland got me $250,000. And Dan got me $250,000. Involved in a car accident? Call me at 407-888-8000. Most radical politicians hide their ties to extremist groups, but Anthony Nieves founded one. Nieves' agenda, defund our police, disband school resource officers, and the Green New Deal, a $93 trillion socialist scheme funded by massive tax hikes, price hikes. There's no hiding it. Anthony Nieves is too extreme for the mainstream. Paula Stark will cut taxes and safeguard our communities. The right choice for this Stark choice. Paula Stark for State House. $50,000 for an injury claimant might sound good, but what if another firm would have recovered $500,000? Many people get ripped off by the insurance company and their own lawyer. We fight to get you every single dollar. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. I want health insurance, but making minimum wage usually means getting minimum coverage. It's time to enroll in a health care plan. And Florida Blue has new quality plans with monthly payments as low as $0. Just call 1-800-601-1548. I need health insurance that's affordable and that actually stays affordable when something goes wrong. With Florida Blue, your benefits help you keep more money in your pocket. Missing work means missing a paycheck. So unless my doctor is here, I'm probably not going to see him. Florida Blue Plans also give you easy access to quality care 24-7, including nights and weekends. Our agents can help you choose from over 200-plus plans with even more member-only perks included at no extra cost. What else can health insurance do? Find out with Florida Blue. Call 1-800-601-1548 or learn more online. Zach Wheeler has doubled down on that classic power pitcher identity. Wheeler is throwing harder than he has all he season. Struck him out. Perfectly executed. No way you can hit that pitch. I mean, this is just the art of pitching. He's at the next level. Got him! What about eight strikeouts for Zach Wheeler? The best the Phillies have. He's been awesome. There is Zach Wheeler trying to save the Phillies season tonight. He has been an ace in every sense of the word until his last start in game two where the Astros jumped on him early and got a victory. Framber Valdez sensational the entire season and the postseason has been no different. Three starts. He's got a 1-4-2 ERA. He has been terrific and that's a great pitching matchup here tonight. Got a Nolan Ryan jersey in Nolan the house. Ryan La Casa. That is right. Fans are ready here in H-Town. And maybe, just maybe, we see that given out tonight. We'll see. Game six, Astros 1-1 one, one away. And welcome back. Good to be here with you and the guys, as always, taking you up to first pitch of game six. Guys, Dusty Baker. I want to talk about a true original. That's what he is, a star player turned Hall of Fame caliber manager. But one thing has eluded him in his illustrious career. That would be a World Series title today. One win away from checking that final box, a milestone his players would love to experience with him. Dusty Baker has been great to all the players. You know, he's a coach that brings the best out of his players. It would be special to win one this year, and uh, we're going to go out and give it our all to, to make it happen. We love going out there competing and playing for Dusty. He's, he's been amazing, uh, loves to win, loves to compete, and we love to go out there and compete for him. He's been around the block, you know, knows so much baseball. He keeps us relaxed. 
I mean, he, he lets us have fun. He keeps it loose. He's done a great job, you know, figuring out what lineups are the best, what pitchers are the best for this situation. This guy does nothing but win wherever he goes. He loves baseball. He's been doing this his whole life. So, I mean, this is where he wants to be at. And for him to, you know, hopefully win his first World Series would be, would be awesome to see. The Astros are one win away from a World Series title. Dusty's wonderful. I, I have really enjoyed getting to know him. Um, I, he takes such a personal approach to his players, really tries to know what makes guys tick and make guys feel like they're part of the team. And obviously his baseball knowledge speaks for itself. And hopefully we can check off the, the one last thing that he needs on his Hall of Fame career. career postseason wins as a manager there you see Dusty Baker and the only thing missing is that title that's what the other guys have on that list will he be able to get it tonight well we're about to find out and you guys all know this man very very well what would it mean to him to get it done tonight Frank for baseball this could be the final chapter for the Dusty Baker movie you know this guy's done it all in this game as a player as a manager but the only thing is to him is spin the world championship if he gets that tonight it could be something very special. A lot of people have been waiting on it for a very long time. I'm so happy for Dustin Baker because he's meant so much to the game and to the players and to many people who even know the guy. So let's hope it happens. You know, but it's not going to be easy because this Philly team still got a lot of fight in them. It's going to be a battle, but to be honest with you, I'd be one of the happiest person on earth just watching him winning a World Series because me personally, I have a really good connection with Dusty. Dusty has been an incredible human being, incredible manager. I have so many friends that have played for him. Matter of fact, I was talking to a friend of mine named Francisco Cordero, who was his closer for Cincinnati the other day, and I remind him, hey, you remember that one time that we were sitting in the bar that Dusty walk in after the game, and we were freaking out. I was like, oh, he come the manager. And when he walked in, he was just one of the coolest guy on earth. And I, after he walked away, I told my boy Francisco, I would love to play for someone like that. And that was on my younger day, uh, Kevin. Poppy, I met uh, Dusty when I was 16 years old. Back then, it was called Joe Robbie Stadium, where the Marlins played. And he treated me like a 20-year veteran. I was there with Sean Dunstan and Barry Bonds. It was such a cool moment. But he's one win away from finishing and putting the icing on the cake. And what a cake. 73 years old, 45 years in the major leagues, but he has some. He has to overcome some game six demons. He had it in 02 against the Angels. He had it in the Bartman play with the Cubs, and then last year right here. So he needs to manage a good game. You got to stay in the moment. Make sure you win one more. Yeah, we'll see if he can get it done. But it is a big storyline tonight. As are the starting pitchers. What a matchup we have for you. As they'll meet for the second time in this series, Wheeler and Valdez. That's the matchup. And again, both have been great. Really, the entire postseason Wheeler his first rough start in a long time came in game two and they jumped on him. they swung early they got a few doubles the first four pitches of the game and that was really that so Poppy who's got the edge tonight is it Wheeler or Valdez I got to go to Wheeler because the last time he was pitching out there guys it was a little flat his velocity was a little low 93 to 95 at the most if I don't see 97 98 popping tonight Coming out of his hand, it's smooth, all it's smooth like he normally do. He is in serious trouble tonight, Frank. I, I agree with that. And, and here, here's what I would be looking at. If I'm Rob Thompson, in the first 10 pitches, Poppy, I'm looking for exactly what you said. I'm looking for velocity. And that needs to be 98, 97, but also with good command. If he doesn't have it, Kevin, I would pull him early and not let this Astro offense score three, four, five runs against him because that could be a wrap. And for me, I think it's still a wash because both of these starters tonight are big big game pitchers. And you know Framer loves, loves the tough game. He's capable of pitching a big game. So I think it's going to be determined later in the ball game. This is going to be a very tight ball game. But I really believe this is going to go down late to the bullpen. Well, Framber Valdez was dominant. So how did the Phillies attempt to hit this guy because they didn't come close in game two? It's a hard thing because Valdez is the hottest pitcher on the planet right now. And he does it two ways, with a sinker and an unhittable curveball. The way the Phillies hit them is they have to come ready to attack like Predators on the first pitch. One place where you can hurt Valdez is with the sinker, and the Phillies have seven home runs on first pitch fastballs or, or first pitch period. That's where you can get Harper has three of them on a first pitch. Absolutely. 
Kevin, as we know, as he, as he used to be in batters, this guy preaching his pitches. This guy locate his pitches where he want to. And that's what makes him so uncomfortable. This guy know what he's doing. Out there. He locate his pitches. And the most important thing, Frank, he know how to keep batter off of balance, which is making more nasty. It seems like this guy is throwing an invisible ball out there when he's pitching. So tonight, Philadelphia batter, they need to stay through the ball, try to hit the ball up the field, try to drive that breaking ball up the field so they can be successful against him. No pulling tonight. If they pull the ball tonight, they're going to be in so much trouble. I just think all men on deck tonight for the Houston Astros. I think this is a very important ball game for them. I think if Dusty gets the lead, he needs to enter that bullpen and hold on to it because game six is very important for the Houston Astros organization. Yeah, and their bullpen has been historic. It's got the lowest ERA in history, postseason history. That's how good they've been. So we'll see yes. how it is managed. I think you're right, Frank. You don't want to go to a game seven if you're Houston. We'll find out shortly. Meanwhile, as we all know, like he does every night, Big Poppy putting his money on the line. The Fox Bet Super 6 app is free to play. Just scan the QR code right now, download the app, answer six cheese. questions, and you can win so all that. Cheese right here, Kevin. It's a lot of like cheese right here, Kevin. It's a lot of cheese. Like I won the Powerball. That's, well, it's not quite as much as well, that, yeah. but you get the idea. You think? $25,000. Who is going to win tonight? Frank. You know, I've had a lot of thought about this over the last 48 hours. You know, I've changed my mind tonight. I send the energy of the Houston fans. I've never seen them this loud for, since many years ago. I think it's going to be a tough game decided in the bullpen. Three, two, Houston. Okay. I, I think a win here for Houston. I'm picking them 5-3. I think this cements their legacy, the cheating, the garbage cans. It puts it all to bed. Too much Valdez and the modern-day nasty boys with this bullpen. Oh, who is that? Bobby's That's got Brett. the old school. Come no on. Ryan. <laughs> but, but Ryan is Brett. Let's it's go. Brett. Come on, Houston. Let's go. You know, only you can win an I'm going team. crazy today. We're going to make the rest of Let's go. Well, now that Poppy's got the crowd all riled up, let's get you to this game. Nick Castellanos and the Phillies. Will they save their season against Alex Bregman and the Astros? It's game six of the World Series from Houston, and we're back with first pitch right after this. To name yourself after the highest peak in North America? Maybe that's audacity. But towering above is exactly what the first ever all-electric GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1 is built to do. With 754 horsepower and up to a GM estimated 400 miles of range on a full charge, it is the Denali of EVs. The Sierra EV Denali. When it's go time, I don't let constipation stop me. New great tasting Dolcolax Chewy Fruit Bites work naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. So you can go fast, go gently, and go on with life. New Dolcolax Chewy Fruit Bites put you comfortably in control. It's not really home field advantage, unless you take advantage of it. Great things happen when you spice it up. Mondays on Fox. Most radical politicians hide their ties to extremist groups, but Anthony Nieves founded one. Nieves' agenda, defund our police, disband school resource officers, and the Green New Deal, a $93 trillion socialist scheme funded by massive tax hikes, price hikes. There's no hiding it. Anthony Nieves is too extreme for the mainstream. Paula Stark will cut taxes and safeguard our communities. The right choice for this stark choice. Paula Stark for State House. My husband was hit head-on by an irresponsible driver, and attorney Dan Newland got us $2.3 million in our pockets. That money's really going to help. Thank you, Dan. Involved in a car accident? Call me at 407-888-8000. At Toyota of Orlando and Toyota of Claremont, new Toyotas are rolling in daily. Hurry in to get our best selection now. You can drive a 2022 Corolla LE for only $99 a month. Shop now at ToyotaOfOrlando.com and ToyotaOfClaremont.com. 
What a night in Houston. Game six of the World Series. The Astros trying to win a title tonight. The Phillies trying to keep their season alive. These fans are all riled up and ready to go. And why don't we send it over to the public address announcer here in Houston now, Bob Ford. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we kindly ask that you please rise and remove your caps for the presentation of our nation's colors. Our honor guard this evening, the color guard from the Harris County Sheriff's Office. And now to honor America with the singing of our national anthem, please welcome Emmy Award winning and multi-platinum singer-songwriter, Andy Grammer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rain Parts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bones bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. Spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free. And the Game six to get going. Astros and Phillies, a lot on the line tonight. And the guys who will bring it to you, Joe Davis, John Smoltz, have the call when we come back. Join the Fox 35 Care Force for Barktoberfest at Lake Viola. Every rider has a story. For some, it takes an unexpected turn, but you don't have to face it alone. Our network of Florida motorcycle lawyers is by your side. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, call 1-800-LAW-TIGERS. Florida's motorcycle lawyers. Qualifying provider service. Most radical politicians hide their ties to extremist groups, but Anthony Nieves founded one. Nieves' agenda, defund our police, disband school resource officers, and the Green New Deal, a $93 trillion socialist scheme funded by Massive tax hikes, price hikes. There's no hiding it. Anthony Nieves is too extreme for the mainstream. Paula Stark will cut taxes and safeguard our communities. The right choice for this stark choice. Paula Stark for State House. Many times after an injury, the insurance company will try to pay you as little as possible to protect their bottom line. But my bottom line is this, you should get paid nothing less than every dime you deserve. There's only one Morgan & Morgan for the people. At Take 5, you stay in your car because we're faster than you think. All the change is done. That was so fast, I didn't even have time to finish knitting these sweaters. Oh, well. Cheese! Take 5, the stay in your car 10-minute oil change. Meet Sarah Henry. She's fanatical for radical ideas, higher taxes for us, handouts for illegal immigrants, early release for dangerous criminals, even prisoners voting from jail. Sarah Henry, too fanatical, too radical for Seminole County. Better choice? David Smith. Combat veteran, business leader, David Smith stands with law enforcement, cut taxes for working families, and work with both parties to protect our environment. David Smith, the best choice for Seminole County. There's certain moments in life that we cherish forever. But sometimes, unexpected accidents can threaten to take these moments away. It's our job to try to help right these wrongs that make life hard. That's why you choose us. That's why you choose Bogan Muns and Muns.
The scene shifts back to Houston, Texas for game six of the World Series. Phillies took an advantage in this series early on in Philadelphia, but the Astros have won the last two and now on the verge of clinching a world championship. Welcome inside and back to Texas with the Hall of Famer John Smoltz. I'm Joe Davis. Here in Game 6, we've got a Game 2 rematch. A great pitching matchup. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. Framber Valdez for the Astros. Yeah, we do. And Valdez dominated that first matchup. And I wouldn't expect him to change at all when you think about the success he had. Wheeler, on the other hand, was shocked early. Two runs and four pitches. Look for him to redeem himself. It will be a short leash for Wheeler. But the key is going to be, I think, for the Phillies to advance this to a game seven. They've got to get something out of two and three. Put some runners on in front of Harper. The two and three hitters have really struggled. Look for Real Muto to kind of emerge, even though he's caught every game, to be a little bit better offensively. There is some breaking news in the middle of this World Series, and it affects the Houston lineup. For that, here's Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. Big loss for the Astros. Yuli Gurriel out with that knee injury he suffered in Game 5. Gurriel was batting a team-high 347 in the playoffs with just one strikeout. It was by far his best month of the season, and Dusty Baker said Gurriel had tears in his eyes when he realized he couldn't play. The Astros are replacing him at first base with Trey Mancini, who was 0 for 18 in the postseason, and they've added a third catcher to their roster, Corey Lee. The addition of Lee protects them if, for some reason, they replace their DH in this game. That's Christian Vasquez. Martin Maldonado also in their lineup, so they're going with both their top catchers. Joe? As they go for the World Series, and what a ride it's been to get to this point. Welcome to the World Series. Rio Muto, it's gone. Phillies take game one. Valdez, a point. Cool and calm. Valdez gave them exactly what they needed. It was all Phils tonight. Lightning strikes. Big night for the Phillies. The Astros have a World Series no-hitter. Justin Verlander gets off the side. In a thriller, 3-2 the final score. And 3-2 is the series as it goes back to Houston. Okay, we'd open with creaky footsteps. Scary music goes all intense. The couple jumps up like, what, what is that? The bass cream, ah, uh, and you go. It's the money you can save by bundling your home and car insurance. Whoa. <laughs> money shoots out from drawers, vents from under the bed. The couple's screaming, ah. Uh, Right, but wouldn't they be happy about the savings? They're scared of how happy savings make them feel. Oh, of course. See how much you could save by bundling with GEICO. What if you were a global bank who wanted to supercharge your audit system? So you tap IBM to unsilo your data and start crunching a year's worth of transactions against thousands of compliance controls with the help of AI. Now you're making smarter decisions faster, operating costs are lower, and everyone, from your auditors to your bankers, feels like a million bucks. Let's create smarter ways of putting your data to work. IBM, let's create. Alexa, can you tell Roomba to clean under the kitchen table? Okay. Quiet. It's Alexa. I knew this day would come. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're cleaning under the kitchen table. Kitchen table, my son of soldiers. Scrap in, people. Brace yourself. Understands more voice commands than any other robot. iRobot OS. So cute, I love it. We got a dog. Uh, What you got there? All right, go get it. Yeah, good boy. Dibs, I got it first. When it comes to lasting relationships, we're thinking of every mile. The new Hyundai Tucson. It's your journey. With Sonic's two for five menu, you get two delicious things for only five bucks. Which is helpful if you struggle with decision making. The Sonic two for five dollar menu. Sonic. Look, I think I just need someone more emotionally available. We seemed like a good match, but in person, I'm just getting a lot of mixed signals. It's the bobblehead, isn't it? I love your smile, but I can't do this anymore. 
I thought you were a home run. Oh gosh, Max, don't do this. There's a better way to bring the game home. Visit MLBshop.com for your favorite team gear and today's special offer. Dear Santa, I know I asked for a lot last year, but this year is different. I don't want any presents. All I want is the U.S. to win the World Cup. You're the guy that makes reindeer fly. You can make anything happen. This is the team that's going to make a run at the World Cup. All we have to do is believe. Last time I checked, that's like your whole thing. Have you seen this? There's more. Welcome to the 2022 World Series on Fox, presented by Capital One. Game six about to begin. We go to the field with Tom Verducci. Thanks, Joe. Game six, two words that capture the patience, perseverance, and heartbreak of Dusty Baker. In 2002, his Giants had a 5-0 lead in the seventh inning ready to capture the World Series and lost. The next year, his Cubs, trying to win the NL pennant, had a 3-0 lead in the eighth inning and lost. Last year, his Astros against the Braves in the World Series eliminated. Dusty Baker is a man of faith. He's an avid fisherman, a music enthusiast, but has been defined too much by what's missing. No man has managed more games without winning the World Series. Tonight, his 25-year journey brings him back to a Game 6. A chance to change history, a chance to make history. Joe. Tommy mentioned he's a big fisherman, and he said, you try to get that fish into the boat, those are the toughest moments. Taking the last breath out of anybody is so tough. And so he knows the job is far from finished. But he feels like he's got the right man for the job. Framber Valdez, who started Game 2, on the mound here for game six. And what a difference a year makes for the youngster. Two games in the World Series last year, he said the emotions got the best of him. He failed to make it through the third inning in either of those starts against Atlanta. But then game two of the World Series against the Phillies, pitched into the seventh inning and dominated that game, just the one run. He's faced them twice over the last month. And, John, he struck out 19 over 11-plus innings. Yeah, this guy's turning into a bulldog, and he has a tremendous sinker, a lot of ground balls, but he has great balance, and really he's learned to have a great heartbeat on the mound. And if you're a game watcher or film watcher, you're going to want to do the same thing he did against the Phillies to have that success. Don't change a thing. Lineup that'll face off with here in game six will look like this. Kyle Schwarber to lead it off, and then Hoskins and Real Muto, Harper, Castellanos, and Bohm. Gene Segura is the seven hitter and second baseman, and with the lefty on the mound, they do go with Gearling and Sosa instead of Marsh and Stott. 
The interesting thing is his last game we were talking about, it was his highest velocity he's had all year. So that RPM was revved up. Now you can imagine in a game six, this is where it starts getting, the reality starts getting close. To, you cannot think about that if you're a game six starter up 3-2. Hard not to, especially when you know team is one way of win from winning a World Series. And you've been on both sides of this, both facing elimination and with a chance to clinch. What's the difference emotionally? Well, emotionally, when you're having an elimination game like, let's say, Wheeler, your room for error is low. Your leash is quick. And you just want to pass the baton on to the guy waiting for game seven. If you're, this is, if you're Valdez, this is when you get selfish and say, I don't want anyone else to pitch after this game. <laughs> and you take it in your own hands. Well, that's the deepest any pitcher had gone in a World Series game in three years when he took it in game two. Going six and a third, and he faces Kyle Schwarber to get game six started. And normally, I'd say, see how the game's going if you're Kyle Schwarber. But the way that he was pitched to last time, got a lot of fastballs early. I would say, like he did against Verlander, it was the second pitch. But Schwarber should be ready to hit a fastball in this at bat early in the first two pitches. Astros one win away from their second World Series in six years. The Phillies trying to force game seven. And the man that started game five with a home run stands in. Valdez rocks and fires and off we go with ball one and immediately John you see the home plate umpire Lance Barksdale not giving Framber Valdez a low strike a pitch that he needs and Barksdale typically does not give pitchers many low strikes right and what Valdez is going to have to do is just keep the pressure on low in the zone that's pop back another play one on one well, this is what he did last time. He faced him uh, leading off the game and, and he attacked him with some fastballs. And then later in the game, he's going to miss it, mix it up. But he pitches off the extreme, I say an extreme third base side of the rubber. His toe is barely touching that rubber when he's getting, that's what the angle he wants to create for the movement. I mean, that's the bare minimum right there. That shows you the balance he has. 28 year old delivers a one pitch that's taken low a check swing ball he went around and it's one and two hmm a lot of movement but maybe the barrel stayed behind the plate on a one two pitch Schwarber takes Oh, he was headed back to the dugout thinking it was strike three. Like everybody thought it was strike three besides the one guy whose opinion matters, Lance Sparkstill. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is this is this is a two-step. Not a song. This is not a song, but this is he's like, okay, all right. He better swing, I think, on this next pitch yeah. if it's close. All right, so a gift for Schwarber. Can he take advantage? On 2-2. Two, two. That's ball three. And that is the first curveball from Framber Valdez. Only 12 of the 42 curveballs he threw in game two were in the strike zone, but the Phillies chased half of them. Yeah, they did, and that's that's how good it is, and that just speaks to him. And he's got to shake that off. He can't let this affect him. Here's his payoff. <laughs> and he winds up walking Schwarber. So perhaps a key call in the first plate appearance of the game, and instead of a strikeout, it's a walk. Well, and I know a pitcher is going to get frustrated because your mind knows that's a strike and you've put it to bed already. And he wasn't able to really. He made some good pitches, all right? Now that's strike three, but you got to make a couple good ones. He let that one out of the zone, and then this one inside. But you cannot let this snowball into a big inning. And this is where experience will pay off of having gone through certain things before and that is where from Valdez says the biggest growth has been his ability to move on from things that don't go his way he immediately deuces a bouncing ball to get the out at second and they turn two from Valdez needs just one pitch to erase it and it was a good pitch because you knew that Hoskins wanted to get something going he has been really struggling at the plate, and he throws him a good sinker, and all he can do with a good sinker is bounce it to a defense that's outstanding, and that's an outstanding double play. They've been tracking ground ball rates for 35 years. Framber Valdez has the highest ground ball rate for a starting pitcher since they've been tracking those things. The Phillies in game two only hit three balls in the air. 
And so a lineup that's relied on home runs for a lot of the season, they're facing the guy that limits them better than anybody in the sport. Yeah. Well, this last at bat that JT had in his last game, they're hoping that that translates into a more typical at bat. Oh, you were talking about it. He needs to go the other way, and he did, and almost helped them come back in that game. That click of the bat, sometimes the sound, the feeling can get a hitter going, but it's the approach that'll get him going, and that last at bat was really good. And the issues you're talking about, Rio Muto's won for his last 17 with 11 Ks. And again, we talked till, I mean, this guy, you got to believe that catching every game and just the, the battle he's been through has affected him a little bit offensively. Something has to give. He was the hero in game one here. Tied the game with a double, won it with a homer. On a 1 1 from Framber Valdez, Rio Muto shoots it down the line. Foul 1 and 2. 97 from Valdez. Yeah, he, again, this will be the game that he has extra day rest, right? I mean, he's ready to go. His sinker's good. The touch is there. He passed the first test of a tough at bat to lead off the game. Got a double play ball, but he is juiced up, no doubt. Home of the 1 2. reason we talked about in the open of why it's so important for two and three of the Phillies because they got to get on for that guy there hasn't been a lot of action for him and the and the Astros have pitched him perfectly but the reason they can do that is no nobody got in front of them for the most part well, the Phillies had seven runs in game three the game where they tied a World Series record hitting five homers but just two runs in two games since On a 2-2 pitch, Rio Muto takes ball three, and actually that hit him, and he's on. And so they do get somebody on in front of Bryce Harper. Well, this will be interesting with two outs. Uh, they faced each other, obviously, in game two, and you see the curveball that catches the top of his foot. When he faced Harper, he threw him a lot of fastballs early, and got him out with curveballs late. So will Bryce be ready for a fastball on this first pitch if that's the same game plan? He's hitting 373 this postseason. The only game during this postseason run Harper didn't reach base was the one against Valdez. First pitch. Got a fastball. Grounded it right side. Sliding play, Jeremy Pena. What a postseason run this kid's having. Scoreless top of the first from Faber Valdez. Astros come to bat when you come back. COVID-19 moves fast. And now you can too by asking your health care provider if an oral treatment is right for you. Oral treatments can be taken at home and must be taken within five days from when symptoms first appear. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, even if they're mild, don't wait. Get tested quickly. If you test positive and are at high risk for severe disease, act fast. Ask if an oral treatment is right for you. COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can too. What the hell is going on? On November 18th. We now offer you the chance to escape. Every course. The pictures, they're all of us. Is another clue. This is game to the next level. All part of the menu. The menu. In theaters November 18th. Read it R. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Junior double, triple Whopper. Impossible or bacon Whopper. I rule this day. Happy day. I'll remember that chapter of my life forever. We laughed. We cried. We protected that progressive home and auto bundle day and night. We were all of us dazzling. Like knights sworn to protect our kingdom. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but that's what made it special. I know we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, but it'll never be today again. Just get on the ball.
season give your family the gift that keeps on going our very own energizer bunny energizer ultimate lithium <laughs> the number one longest lasting double a battery Buzz Ken Rosenthal reported off of the top. Yuli Guriel is not in the game. He injured his knee in game five. So Trey Mancini starts at first base. Christian Vasquez catches. It's the first time all year the Dusty Baker has sent this lineup out there. And he does so with the Astros looking to clinch a world championship against the guy they saw in game two in Zach Wheeler. This guy, John, was overpowering. And a big part of the reason the Phillies made it to the World Series. But in his World Series debut, wasn't the same. Yeah, he wasn't the same. He had ran into a little bit of uh, tough luck, too, when you talk about ambush early. And that really set the stage for the game, and he never really was able to recover, and his team didn't really score. So look for him to make some adjustments early. I, I still, he went fastball in to Altuve. I would not throw a first pitch fastball in, that's for sure. Yeah, that'd be a good place to start. Yeah. And you're going to be taking a look at the velocity. 97-98 is where Zach Wheeler wants to be. He was at a season low. 95 in game two. And here's the guy you're talking about that was the first to ambush. El Tuve doubled on the first pitch of the game and came in to score one pitch later. Ball one at 98. Extra day rests and his ability to look at film and see his mechanical adjustments he needs to make. Jose Altuve hitting 346 over his last five games. Watches the strike 99 and it's one and one. And Altuve to you looks like he's back to being himself. Yeah, he's hit some mistakes, which has gotten him going. Uh, but if you stay outside, you got to make him still beat you to right field. If you're any pitcher in the game today, beat, make him beat you to right field. Oh. One and two. Nice looking breaker. I would think the breaking ball comes out a little earlier than normal. For Wheeler he likes to put that in his back pocket and show it later but right now he's pitching every inning as if it's his last inning because they're in elimination game and he knows it and wants to go as deep as he can without his manager taking him out. Home of the one two pitch fastball at 98 and a good sign for Wheeler and the Phillies with that fastball up in the high 90s again. So one gone in this first inning. Here comes a splendid rookie, Jeremy Pena, who continued his fantastic World Series with a nice defensive play to finish the top of the inning. I mean, that's a great play. If Altuve has to make that, he's not going to throw out Harper. And his short hop right in the grass, no big deal, makes the play and got his team to the plate. Coming off a three-hit game in game five. Where he hit his fourth home run of the postseason. He's hitting 381 in the World Series. And he's making a push to become the first rookie position player ever to win World Series MVP. And he's having a fantastic adjustment. I call it in bat adjustment, meaning look bad for two pitches and then with two strikes, slow everything down. Bounces this one to short at Mundo Sosa. Two out. But we're going to see two pitchers that pitch differently in the sense of not only their repertoire, but where they stand on the rubber. We talked about Valdez, farthest part of the third base rubber. Well, you've got Wheeler on the first base side of the rubber. But here's the difference. They're going to land close to each other because Wheeler throws across his body, which creates that extra spin and hop to the hitter. So even though Valdez pitches over there, they get close to where they land on opposite sides of the rubber. Across his body and Anya with that 6-5 frame. Yeah, that's the that's we talked about how he goes downhill, and so far the fastball is not skipping a beat, that's for sure. Couple big dudes facing off here. Jordan Alvarez with the bases empty and two gone. Swats the first one left center field, slicing to Kyle Schwarber. He's got it. And on seven pitches, Zach Wheeler with a one-two-three first. What will you do? What will you change? Will you make something better? 
Will you create something entirely new? Yeah. Our Dell Technologies advisors provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. Because we believe there's an innovator in all of us. I'm the team mascot, and boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! Hit. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman's struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah. It's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. And getting the network you want for $30? <gasps> Touchdown! Oh! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch because you'll get up to $960. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. I don't say any of this to frighten you. Robert Birch told me he's obsessed. What do you mean, obsessed? Stay the hell away from my family. You're making threats. He's been doing this for years. You could have stopped him. I'm scared. Whatever happens to us, you'll always be my darling. The Venture X Card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Ooh, my lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Enjoy your stay. Going up? And 10 times miles now. on hotels through Capital One oh. Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. White wine, please. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Dell Technologies. We'll stop at nothing to bring out the innovator in all. And by Capital One, what's in your wallet? Well, game six has been a special one in the World Series. 1975, Carlton Fisk in the bottom of the 12th, willing his ball fair. One of the iconic home runs in World Series history. Second inning, no score. Nick Castellanos leads off against Framber Valdez. He's a double play ball to get around a leadoff walk in the first inning, and he's in the dirt with a curve to Castellanos. Well, so far, it's been a decent approach by the Phillies, meaning... Valdez has thrown now five curveballs, none for strikes. Rarely do you get back to back takes from this guy. Yeah, that remains the case. And so when you see those numbers, John, that he rarely is in the zone with his curveball, it feels like the plan, and it's easier in principle than it is in practice, but it should be don't swing when you see spoon. Yeah, but the beauty, you're right. But the beauty of his curveball, it's in the zone a long time, even though it ends up out of the zone. It'd be one thing if he spiked a lot of them and they just were so aggressive swingers. Three straight curves, one and two, and the last two have been in the strike zone. And he just has such great feel. And the way that he throws, you know, he's a short striding, kind of over the top. Great feel for pitching. And he just puts the hitter in a defensive defensive spot because there's nothing mediocre about his pitches that you could sit on. Home of the one two it's four straight curves Castellanos bounces that one just foul and he was going to reach had that been fair. That's about as close of a last second call you can make for the third base umpire to see this ball last second. It's got hook spins fair right now fair right now fair and then foul right before the bag. Good call. Whew, that's close. <laughs> yeah. But then I was showing you with conviction. Yeah, and you're getting blocked out by Bregman. So, great call there. Really, it's been been a great postseason for the most part. Mm -hmm. Nothing really. The umpires are all doing their job. It's a tough job. Nothing really super conf confrontational. Another one two pitch a fastball, and he gets the call down there at the bottom of the zone one going in the second on his first K. It's 
Let's take a look at the Astros defense here for game six. How about the play Chaz McCormick made in game five in Philadelphia, flanked by Alvarez and Tucker. Bregman and Pena left side of the infield with Altuve and Mancini. For Trey Mancini, his first start at first base since October 5th. He hadn't played first base period since October 5th when he came off of the bench for Gurriel in game five and made that great play to keep the Astros in front. One away, Alec Baum. Line drive, base hit. First hit of the game for the Phillies. And it comes from Alec Bohm with one away in the second. Well, he got a fastball, and it was down, and he went down with it right up the middle, and that's the approach you got to have. Easier to said than done when you come up with game plans on paper, executing them totally different than a man aboard for Gene Segura who takes a strike and the Phillies are hoping that his two hit performance in game five is a sign of things to come. He was one for his previous 17. He'd been struggling against fastballs. Got both those hits in game five against Teeters. One one. Good stop Maldonado. The Astros a win away from the second World Series with the recent cautionary tale of 2019 when they were in the same position. Came back home with a 3 2 lead over the Nationals, and the Nats took game six and seven. One and two. And the Phillies really have built their whole identity on coming back. Within the season, from eight games below 500 to reach the postseason. Within games, I mean, this postseason's dotted with comebacks. Most recently, game one of the World Series from down 5 nothing, And now within a series, down 3-2, facing elimination. Can the fight and Phils do it one more time? Valdez to Segura with a 1-2. It's a late swing to send that one foul. We're talking about this umpiring crew. It's done a nice job in this World Series. Lance Barksdale gets home plate today with crew chief Dan Isonia now down at third. Out on the Phillies order trying to get it done here. Runner at first, one gone, one two pitch. Segura fouls off a curve. Segura, as we talked about, it's just so short and quick to the ball. Doesn't look like it's something you would teach most hitters, but man, does he get it done and he can find the barrel and get a lot of base hits. In a lot of ways, he's kind of embodied these Phillies this year. Flawed, but fun, and more and more, and you add it all up, the good outweighs the bad when it comes to Gene Segura and with this Phillies team this year. It's a guy that's been traded four times. Finally found himself on a postseason team here in his 11th year. Home at first one gone no score second inning a one two pitch again and it's in the dirt for ball two. That side of the plate really pulling his breaking ball and we've seen already hit batsman on the foot. And we've seen a lot of them missed in that area. He also has the capability of backdooring that pitch. When he's completely connected to it and of course he can throw that slider a little firmer pitch. If he feels like they're laying off the big breaker, he has loved that big breaker, that curveball this postseason. More than 40% of his pitches have been the curve. 
Here's another 2-2. It is 3-3 as the curveball falls from the heavens to get Segura. That's exactly what I was talking about, the backdoor variety. Even though that caught the middle of the plate, it started out and up. And when it comes out of your hand right there, the hitter's saying, that's a ball. There's no way that's coming back down. Too late to pull the trigger. And he can get those calls when, he, when he's spinning it and not spiking it. He's going to get a lot of strikes and strikeouts. More strikeouts on that curveball than any curveball in baseball this year. Two out second inning, Matt Veerling. Playing time in the postseason has been hard to come by. He starts against left-handed pitchers. He's gone two for 12. 1-0. Oh. Fearling, 26 years old, out of St. Louis. Debuted late last season, performed well. This is his first full year in the major leagues and really got it going down the stretch. On a 1-0 from Valdez. Fearling oh, takes ball two. Home at first, 2-0 to the plate. Low for ball three. Franco Valdez, who has started three games this postseason. The Astros have won all three. At a 142 ERA. Very few moments where he's been at all out of sync. Left-hander in his fifth year has gotten better and better. And he misses ball four. Four pitch walk to the eight hitter Veerling. Second walk issued by Valdez. Well, it's been an incredible series, and you still have a chance to win 25 grand of Big Poppy's money tonight. All you need to do is pull out your phone, get the free Super 6 app now, and then enter your six picks for tonight's game. Bell puts him at first and second for the Phillies, and John, they, throughout this postseason run, have been really good with runners in scoring position until lately, where they've gone one for their last 23. Yeah, they've hit a dry spot at the wrong time, and Valdez facing Sosa the last time threw him a ton of breaking balls. I mean, almost every pitch, with the exception of three, were curveballs. So see if he stays with that same plan. Sosa, bigger, longer swing. And if he gets a curveball up in the zone, that's the one he can do the damage. Bowman at second, Veerling at first. Only the fourth start of the postseason for Edmundo Sosa. Got a first pitch fastball and fouled it off. Now, there was some thought early on in this World Series that against a lefty, against Valdez, Bryson Stott was going to play. But since then, Stott's gone 0 for 13 during the World Series, and so Rob Thompson does what he's done the rest of the postseason, and that is go for the platoon advantage here. 0 1. A breaking ball is golf to left center field. Alvarez back onto the track at the wall. He's got it. The park just large enough to hold it. Sky scraping drive from Edmundo Sosa. It falls harmlessly into the glove of Alvarez. Middle two in game six. No score. We'll make a new bet around every two seconds. Not only on the game, but on the game of life. Betting that love is just a swipe away. Betting on picking up that curious hitchhiker carrying a bowling bag. And betting that he doesn't turn out to be a cornhole prodigy. Every moment in life is a bet. But life doesn't offer you up to $1,000 back in free bets if you don't win. So bet on America's number one sports book, FanDuel. And make every moment more. It's so nice you guys could stop by. Your floors are amazing. We really need new floors, but the kids... 
And the dog. These are waterproof and scratch resistant from LL Flooring. But Gary's so tight with the budget. It was actually a lot less than we thought. This is nice. It's time to love your floors. Lumber Liquidators is now LL Flooring, your expert from inspiration to installation. Right now, save up to 15% on waterproof floors. How did we get here? Low wages, high inflation, record crime, illegal immigration from places as far away as Pakistan. Our cities are a mess. Public services are a nightmare. But instead of helping us, Joe Biden has sent $66 billion to Ukraine, weapons worth billions more. And now, Joe Biden says his fighting Ukraine could lead to nuclear Armageddon. World War III. You know what I say? No mas. Citizens for Sanity paid for this ad. The virus that causes shingles is sleeping in 99% of people over 50, and it could strike at any time. Think you're not at risk? Wake up, because shingles could wake up in you. If you're over 50, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about shingles prevention. Experience the peripheral. You're inside the peripheral, piloting that body as if it were your own. A new form of time travel. The peripheral. Connect to the future. Now streaming only on Prime Video. It looks like we're in a screensaver. We need to go higher. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> We're like yodeling high. Yodeling? No. We should go even higher. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. I'm good. Adventure elevated. Let's go lower. Oh, Discover more good. in the Subaru Outback Wilderness. Love. It's what makes Subaru Subaru. Subaru is the National Park Foundation's largest corporate donor. Mundo Sosa's thinking, man, if I steer that one about 15 feet to the left, I got a bomb in the World Series. But instead, it stays nothing, nothing. And Alex Bregman leads off against Zach Wheeler, who continues where he was at in the first inning with that fastball up 98-99. Yeah, good fast fo four seam life. He's gone into Bregman a few times in the previous meetings. Goes in here. Bounce to Sosa. He's retired the first four. Well, Sosa got the curveball that I was talking about, and it looked like for a minute this collective crowd held their breath as the big left fielder put the ball in his glove, and that was close to a huge moment in this game. He's watching his play right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back there pretty calmly, looking pretty smooth. What not? The one gone in the second inning, Kyle Tucker. This is the guy, if I'm Wheeler, throughout the game, I don't mess with runners on. I mean, this is the guy you got to pitch around in the lineup. Oh, he shows the blind, pops it back out of play. The reason I'm saying that, even though Vasquez is behind him, the bottom part of this lineup right now, beyond Tucker, anything you get out of them based on their performances so far would be a bonus. So an elite pitcher is going to look at that scorecard and go, OK, this is not a disrespect to them. I'm circling these guys because that's where I need to go to get outs if I get into a jam. Tucker, who hit two home runs in the first game of this World Series, has struggled since. The All-Star well, takes inside and it's one and one. But the Astros as a team have hit just enough. And it's kind of been what the story's been all season for. Elite pitching. And enough offense. They've scored 18 runs in the five games and lead the series three games to two. <coughs> Perfect. One and two. And when he's doing that, there's not a, a hitter in the universe that's going to be able to hit that pitch. And you've already seen what adrenaline and knowing that this is your last start of the year will do for you. The velocity's back to where it was before. Commanding it as well. On one, two. This is up and away. And the other thing is he's actually throwing it because he trusted it so little in game two that he threw it less than he has in his three years with Philly. Right, exactly. And you just saw one of the few times he gets underneath the ball. When you get underneath the ball, you throw an upshoot fastball that's a non competitive pitch. You can still throw it up and stay on top of the ball. 
is 2-2. Two -two. Check ball. swing foul. Another 2-2 from Zach Wheeler. He is yanked down the line, hooking, foul. Now Zach was trying to get that to the back foot and that breaking ball was a little late and a little flat. And he's lucky that uh, Tucker pulled it foul. But this breaking ball is supposed to be down. See how it rolled in the strike zone and that long majestic swing of Tucker hooked it foul. So it stays two and two on Tucker. Zach Wheeler rocks and fires. Oh, eh? Try to come to the back door and missed. And he tried to he tried to throw a backdoor cutter and catch the outside part of the plate. See on the side of the ball. If that thing breaks a little bit more, it's got a chance to get the called strikeout. Well, the guy you said you would circle in the lineup is really making him work. This will be the eighth pitch to Kyle Tucker. It's a 3 2, and it's a fastball that's hit foul. All these fastballs. This is who Zach Wheeler is. His identity is power pitcher. And that's what he was over the first four games of the postseason when he struck out 25, walked only three. Trying to find it again when his team needs him most. Nine pitches to the first four hitters, his ninth to Tucker alone. It'll be a tenth. Tucker's battling. The one thing he does is he does a lot of movement in the box for his timing. You're going to see it's almost as if he doesn't have traction with his spikes and he's trying to get traction, but he's always moving the back foot and really rocking until he gets ready to hit. You'll get a chance to see it a little bit. And, uh, I don't got a good. No, no, that's not. No, <laughs> wait. And then right about now he'll get ready. He's like a horse ready to take <laughs> off. On the 10th pitch, All Tucker ten. takes ball four. Impressive stuff from Kyle Tucker and the first base runner of the game for Houston. Well, that was a pretty locked in at bat once he got the two strikes. This pitch should have been swung at. And if you're Wheeler, you're going, I just painted a slider, cutter, inside half. And the guy who swings a lot should have gotten it. But now we're going to work the bottom of the lineup and see if he can work through that. And the DH today, Christian Vasquez, with Aledmus Diaz at one for 22 in the postseason overall. And David Hensley, not a good matchup against Zach Wheeler. We've already got Mancini in the lineup filling in for Guriel. It's the second catcher, Vasquez, who does the DH in. Now, the one thing Vasquez, he, he had a few years ago his power stroke where he hit a lot of home runs. He still got that. But he tracks the breaking ball pretty well, especially down. You would think that would be the kryptonite of a lot of right-handed hitters, but you gotta be careful with that breaking ball. You gotta really, if you if you hit it well low, that means you can swing over the top when it bounces. Tucker aboard with one away. First one to Vasquez. Oh, he swings at a ball that might have hit him if he didn't. That fastball, angry movement inside for strike one. Uh, you're not going to see too many guys follow a pitch off right here. Watch this. Could have got the belt buckle. No, it got the inside part. But I'm saying that ball almost could have hit him had he not swing. Right at him. Wow. Get off me, ball. Most of his strikeouts are going to be inner half, inner third. That's where he was going on the first pitch. <coughs> oh, and two.
Christian Vasquez has only started two games in this postseason, but in one of them, he knocked in two. In another, he caught a no-hitter in the World Series. Looking to make the most of another start here. Tucker at first has good wheels, good base stealer. It's got to be a high fastball. Oh. It's a low fastball. Grounded to short. Six, four, three. And a double play finishes off the second. Zach Wheeler has faced the minimum through two in game six. A Corona and palm trees. Huh. A Corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees. Strong like a tongue squeeze. You'll say, ah, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I should have wrapped. This new tent's amazing. Yeah. And it was easy to pay off the low rates on our platinum card from Navy Federal Credit Union. Can't imagine where we'd be without them. Yeah. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Take a picture. I'm stuck! <laughs> Is that a new iPhone? Yep. I just got the new iPhone 14 with its amazing camera at T-Mobile. Oh, what's it do? Just switch to T-Mobile and you can get iPhone 14 with Apple TV Plus included. And so much more. I'm talking over $225 in benefits every month. Wow. At T-Mobile, get iPhone 14 on us with Apple TV Plus included. Part of over $225 in benefits every month on Max Family Plans. <laughs> Still not confident about which used car to buy? Nope. Why not ask the most confident person you know? My old high school coach. <sighs> this one's got talent, toughness, the will to win. Let me coach you on this. Just say, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all-new Carfax.com. During Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days, every Monday is a huge deal. Get a $79 HP Chromebook, plus other hot deals. Join Walmart Plus and you can shop online seven hours early. Head to Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days. Get a free Doritos Locos Tacos only on the app now by signing up for Taco Bell Rewards. And join our fans as they use Kyle Schwarber's World Series Steal to run up the score on free tacos. Steal a base, steal a taco. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Taco Bell. Steal a base, steal a taco is back. And by Corona Extra. Find the fine life. Live La Vida Mas Fina. Game six in 86. It gets through Buckner. The Mets win it. And win game seven to keep the Red Sox drought going. Kyle Schwarber to the plate. And we go to the field with Ken Rosenthal. Well, guys, we've talked a lot about Kyle Schwarber's leadership. He and David Robertson, most postseason experience on the Phillies. They both spoke briefly to the team after game five, saying, guys, it's not supposed to be easy. Play our game one pitch at a time. And yeah, this is a guy here in Schwarber County who's been in this exact situation of four before, of course, with the Cubs in 2016. They were down 3-1. And then eventually down 3-2 on the road for game six and seven. And they went in there to Cleveland, and we all know how that went. And so passing on that experience. Walked his first time against Valdez, who has issued two of those and hit a batter. Schwarber takes ball two. There's statements you always hear in the postseason that drive me crazy because they're not as they sound good, but they don't live up to their ah, we got nothing to lose. The pressure's on them, our backs against the wall, blah, blah, blah. That's BS. Any team that feels that way usually doesn't come out on top. And on the flip side, you got two games at home to win one. Nah, you really have one game at home to win one. Because if you go to a game seven, anything can happen. So if I'm the Phillies, that's what I'm saying. Force a game seven, their advantage is gone. And that's why when you're up 3-2, how why this Dusty Baker talked about how hard it is to close the teams out for that simple reason. 
because you do feel like oh, give us two games to win one we're good in the regular season yeah but in the postseason it's so much different two on pitch Schwarber six right two. the last time John did the home team lost game six and then one game seven 25 years ago yeah 1997 Marlins against the Indians First year manager Rob Thompson has gotten him this far. Schwarber starts the third. And Quick takes it. strike three. That almost looked like Schwarber was looking for another pitch. Didn't get it in the guessing game and just got completely froze by the pitch on the outside. Going into this inning, Valdez had not thrown any four seamers or change-ups. Look for that to change a little bit. As far as that changeup coming into play as the game plays on. And now back into that part of the order that you've pointed out, the Phillies have to have to have a shot. Strike out Hoskins. Yeah, they, they've got to do anything. Walk, hit batsmen like Rio Muto was able to do. But th this part of the lineup is supposed to be the meat, and the offense clicks through Harper. That's up. No swing, one one. But when your two most reliable right-handed hitters are slumped, something gets them going—a bloop, a crack, a crack bat, an infield hit. One ball, one strike. Reese Hoskins takes a curve low, and the Phillies can at least take some comfort or some hope out of the idea that Reese Hoskins' best games this postseason have come after his worst. And he's coming off an 0 for 5 game with four strikeouts. Or a defensive play that cost him a run. But you look back to the division series. There's a defensive play that cost him a run in a loss in Atlanta. He comes back and hits a three run home run. Championship series has another three strikeout game. Only to follow that with three home runs over the next 48 hours. And pick himself up again. He's worked it full here. He's worked it full, but this is going to be a key. If he expands the strike zone here on 3-2, he's still got to stay disciplined. If you're Valdez, you think he's going to swing, you can throw anything you want if you think he's going to swing. It's a fastball. It's bounced to third, but it's just foul. It's the second one, John. We've had right down there on that line. Another one down the line, almost identical. Wow. And th that one, I mean, that is like an eighth of an inch. It's a credit card. Dan I have Sonia right on both. So Reese Hoskins will set it back in for another 3 2 pitch. No score in the third inning of game six. Phillies trying to force game seven. Astros will win away. Valdez turns and deals. Hoskins watches strike three. Curveball falls in there to get him. Tremendous break from top to bottom and if you're sitting at home you have no idea how hard this pitch is To make up your mind thinking that's got to be a ball I'm not going to expand the zone and then it drops in for a strike and That's what makes him so tough and that's why he keeps the ball in the ballpark by the way if you're sitting on that pitch It's a different thing like hey, I'm gonna sit on the curveball. You see that you might be able to hit it Curve misses to Real Muto last time from Valdez gave up a home run in this ballpark which July 3rd that's amazing. Only 11 of them all year in 200 innings. One and one. For a guy who didn't get a pro contract until five years after he was eligible to get one in the Dominican Republic. From anonymous prospect to an intriguing one with that curveball. Debuted when he was 24. In the first couple of years, though, it wasn't like he showed up and was 
deal in. He had an ERA above five his first two years. It was back and forth between the big leagues and AAA. Didn't become a full-time starter until 2020. And now in his third year, all-star for the first time. Pinning their hopes on here in the World Series. His 2-1 pitch is a fastball for strike two, and that is played up over the first few innings. It's just amazing because he, he doesn't look like he could possibly throw 97 as effortless as he makes it look, and it's just on the hitter, and the hitter is trying to get a mistake. We haven't had many tonight so far. Two two strikes out the side. Without these diamonds. Diamonds? I'm just here for the stains with Persil Pro Clean. Boom. It's more than clean, it's Persil Pro Clean. At Marshall's, our buyers search far and wide for the best deals on the brands you love. They also search near and narrow. But people don't really say that. We get the deals, you get the good stuff. Marshall's. Back when I had a working circulatory system, you had to give your right arm to find great talent. But with Upwork, there's highly skilled talent from all over the globe, right at your fingertips. It's where businesses meet great remote talent, and remote talent meets great opportunity. This is how we work now. My relationship with my credit cards wasn't good. I got into debt in college, and no matter how much I paid, it followed me everywhere. Between the high interest, the fees, I felt trapped. So I broke up with my credit card debt and consolidated it into a low-rate personal loan from SoFi. I finally feel like a grown-up. Break up with bad credit card debt? Get a personal loan with no fees, low fixed rates, and borrow up to 100K. Go to SoFi.com to view your rate. SoFi, get your money right. Guys, there's something on the ship. There's something with us here. What do we do? Get to the escape pods. Go now! Okay, I'm an alien, and I got these claws. I'm climbing the wall now. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Guys? Uh-oh. See how much you could save by bundling with Geico. Is that going to be a problem? You got the cheesesteaks in one city. You got the Tex-Mex here in Houston, where we go to the bottom of the third in game six. It is Trey Mancini to lead off. Bottom of the order for the Astros against Zach Wheeler. Dusty Baker's message to Mancini, go be aggressive. He is strike one. Aggressive with fastball at 99. Hey, well, we got a chance. I want to give a shout out to Braden Scott. He's dealing with some tough stuff, young boy. Diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Originally from Houston, big baseball fan. We're pulling for you and praying for you, young man. No one pitch to Mancini is bounce foul. He's got a great guy to look up to here for inspiration in Mancini. Absolutely. Two years removed from beating stage three colon cancer and playing in the World Series. His whole focus was on beating cancer. He wasn't thinking about getting back to playing baseball, but he beat it. He got back, and he's doing what he says. It still doesn't feel real at this point. In a tough spot here against Wheeler, starting the third. Here's an 0-2. A good take. That's where he's been really vulnerable and aggressive, so that's a good take. 
And if he can stay stubborn on two of those, because you can back that right back up if you're Wheeler, just to tease him even more to say, okay, you took that one, but can you take the next one? Outside with a fastball. One strikeout, one walk, no hits against Zach Wheeler so far. Deals 2 2. Cracks his bat. That's foul. Mancini's still alive, but the bat's not. And they go get a new one. As he goes and gets a new piece of lumber. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Geico. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. Seeing a lot of. Big time baseball in this ballpark in recent years. Fourth trip to the World Series in six years. Trying to win it all for the first time since 2017. And Cini's got a new bat. Waits on this 2-2. Fastball shot to right base hit. Trey Mancini with his first hit of the postseason to open the third. It snaps an 0 for 18 and understandably brings a big smile to his face. Yeah, I'm really surprised Wheeler, after throwing the one breaking ball, didn't go back to another breaking ball. And that fastball, he was able to get to it and at least hit it the other way. So an already bonus for the Houston bottom of the lineup. And Wheeler maybe wishing he had gone back to the breaking ball. Sigh of relief for Trey Mancini. Only in the lineup because Yuli Gurriel is out with the injury. And he's the first man to get a hit against Zach Wheeler. Now Chaz McCormick takes ball one. And McCormick, one of the heroes of game five with a defensive play that not many people had any business making. McCormick happens to be at his best going back into his left. And that's where he had to go to make the catch of his life. Robbing JT Real Muto 12 extra bases in the ninth inning. Uh, he too likes the fastball down. And he broke his bat as well. And so McCormick in the ninth inning, he set off of the bat. He thought this ball was gone. He got to the wall in time to time that jump up. Laid there on the ground for a moment, and he said he looked up at Phillies fans and saw their faces, and he flashed back to when he says he was one of them as a 13-year-old when the Phillies lost the World Series to the Yankees. And one of the fans that was sitting there looking back at him got this picture of uh, the imprint on the dirt. How cool is that shot? Really cool. And if you're the Astros, you're hoping the same result happens here. One broken bat by Mancini. He got a new one. It was rewarded. Broken bat here by McCormick. Maybe the new one. We'll do better. And McCormick said as he's laying there after that catch, he says it felt like a dream. Felt like forever that he was laying there before he got up. Soaking it all in. The city that he's from. With that new bat, swings and misses. And we go down to Tom Verducci. Yeah, I talked to Chaz about that picture you just saw of his dirt angel, if you will, on the warning track. <laughs> He couldn't believe how clear it was and actually said I'm not even sure if that is real But he said if we win tonight, I am framing that and putting it on a wall it looks like something out of a museum yeah. Chaz chop they've started doing here the last couple of years. They love Chaz McCormick Who leaves a fastball upstairs and the count evens two and two Debuted last season a platoon player for the better part of his two years in the major leagues that at one point this summer was getting sent down to triple-a they called him back because of an injury and he has seized center field here in this postseason run on a 2-2 from Zach Wheeler he takes ball three Zach now has to make his first pitch of the game because if he were to get two runners on in the bottom part of the lineup, that brings up the meat of the order coming up. And the recipe for 
Houston's been pretty simple the last two games. The top five guys have really delivered offensively. That's why this part of the lineup, Zach has to go through and can't create a lot of traffic for Altuve. Mancini single. Now McCormick on 3-2. Breaks his bat and a roller back to Wheeler. Out at second. Safe at first. The degree of difficulty for Zach Wheeler right here is pretty incredible. This bat, if we're not mistaken, went right over his head. So survive and then make the play. Oh, the bat goes right over your head. He has the presence to pick it up. You can understand the throw is not perfect because he's got a bat flying over his head. Jeez. And he's able to make that play. Great pitch, great concentration, and almost doubled up a really fast runner. He's going to have enough... Uh Wood for a bonfire here soon. He's broken oh, three bats in these uh, two last at bats. So he does get the first out. Now the nine hitter, Maldonado. Now Maldonado has twice been able to have a hit and run slash base hit to right field when a runner's been on first in motion. <clears throat> Strike one. 36 year old in his 12th season, looking for his first ring. Cormick off first as the 0-1 comes home from Wheeler. Maldonado takes inside one and one. You can see Wheeler really trying to get inside to most of these hitters. That's where he likes to throw his seam two seamer. He's got great action in there, and that is why we're seeing some broken bats as well. You love that as a pitcher. You break somebody in, kind of like an empowering oh, feeling. There's nothing better other than double play, but. He almost got both at the same time. Top of the order looms as he fires a 1 1 pitch. Bounce gently. Alec Bohm's got a hurry. Just in time, and he can thank his lucky stars that the catcher was running. <laughs> I'll say that is understandable from Maldonado, who's squatting behind the plate and then you're asking him to beat out an infield hit good credit to Bohm he took his time didn't really have to feel like there was a panic bare hand throw and get him out just barely got him out all right so runner in scoring position for Jose Altuve and John one of the more stunning stats of this postseason is that even as Altuve has gotten it going lately he still does not have an RBI now, part of that was when he was going bad, expanding the zone and swinging at bad pitches. When you have runner in scoring position, typically the pitcher feels the stress and might make a mistake and you take advantage of it. One ball, no strikes. Well, Tuve struck out his first time. After starting this postseason one for 28, he's hitting 346 over his last five. Longest tenured Astro, the face of this great run. Trying to put him in front in game six. He's ahead 2-0. Oh. Uphill with those fastballs, two in a row now. On this 2-0 -oh pitch, for me, uh, Altuve would have to hit a breaking ball here. I can't afford to come in the zone with a guy who loves the swing and rarely takes two pitches in a bat in a row, yet alone two. So see if Wheeler tries to spin something on the outside part of the plate with a base open. The antenna going up with those back-to-back -back takes. And now on 2-0, it's pinpoint and strike one in three straight takes from LT. Yeah, and that was pinpoint. And he made an absolute perfect fastball on the outside part of the plate. A little cutting action on this one. McCormick in second. Two gone, third inning. 2-1 pitch. Altuve. Strike two. All fastballs. 
Two and two on Altuve. And you'll notice the last couple pitches, JT started out in and then moved away. See that? That's in case the runner's given location. So you kind of deke the location. The pitcher knows where it's going to be. And at the last second, the catcher gets to the desired spot. And two great pitches. Down in the count, 2-0, now even. Scoreless game here on thin ice with a two-out chance for Altuve. Fouls it off as Wheeler sticks with the hard stuff against one of the best in the game at hitting fastballs. Now you talked about that lack of forcing fastballs the first time at 14 percent this are already at 42 percent meaning that's his throwing his four seam he feels like he's got it back it's all he's thrown out to he strikes him out sticks with the fastball and ends the third Zach Wheeler three scoreless innings in game six Bryce Harper due to lead off the fourth Peaceful state. Full plate. Wait, are you my blind date? Dancing crew, trip for two. Now the final interview. Buy or lease. Masterpiece. Inside joke. Artichoke. Game with Doug. Brand new mug. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Boosters designed for COVID-19 variants are now available. Brought to you by Pfizer and BioNTech. This is Antonelli's Cheese Shop. And, and we're, we're the Antonelli's. Antonelli's. Do good, eat good. That's our mission. We chose our Spark Cash Plus card from Capital One because it gives us unlimited 2% cash back on everything we buy. And it has no preset spending limit, so our purchasing power adapts to our business needs. We use our 2% cash back to help cover our employees' health care costs. And that's how we take care of our most valuable asset. Our people. It may sound cheesy. But we like it that way. What's, What's in, in your, your wallet? wallet? After my stroke, I was just grateful to see Giselle and our kids. Across Pennsylvania, I keep seeing families that don't have enough time to focus on each other. They're struggling, left behind. We gotta make it easier for people to spend time with those they love. Politicians spend so much time fighting about the things that don't matter. I'll always be focused on what does. Access to healthcare, lower costs, good jobs. More time with those we love. I'm John Fetterman and I approve this message. Buying a home? Rocket Mortgage will cover 1% of your rate for the first year at no cost to you, saving you hundreds, even thousands with Inflation Buster. That's more mini vacations, a lot more lattes, more date nights. Plus, if rates drop within three years of your home purchase, you get exclusive savings when you refinance with Rate Drop Advantage. That's more cash in your pocket. Save when you buy today and refinance tomorrow. Visit inflationbuster.com to get started. Did you know Google makes a phone? Don't be fooled by the outside, though. Sure, it's beautiful, but its real power is inside, where it does things other phones can't do, which is how it takes stunning photos in the dark, and why it can edit annoying items out of pictures, or shoot extreme close-ups and unblur faces. Why, it'll even put some of that genius in your ears, or on your wrist. Beautifully, of course. Introducing the new Google Pixel Watch, Google Pixel Buds Pro, and our newest Google Pixel phones. A breakfast croissant plus seasoned potatoes for three bucks, and they're red shirting you? It's just a standard work shirt. Hey, way to stay humble, man. Thank you, Reg. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's $3 breakfast deal. Get your game on at MLBShop.com. Authentic on field caps, tees, hoodies, and more. All your postseason Astros and Phillies gear at the official source, MLBShop.com. Part of the order for the Phillies, no score. The fourth, Bryce Harper leads off. First pitch curve, strike one. And from a game planning standpoint, of course, before the series, they, took, they said, look, Harper's the hottest guy in the universe. We've got to take care of him. They, for the most part, have. Going into this game, 14 out of 21, we mentioned, he came to the plate with nobody on. Now, that, that might not seem like that much. That's a ton when you're talking about the fourth hitter in a lineup. That one's a little bit high, and we go down to Tom Verducci. Yeah, you might have noticed between each pitch, the setup routine for Bryce Harper, always the same, touching the ground there. He started this, he told me, last year after he was hit in the face 
by Hennis Carrera of the Cardinals on a 98 mile an hour fastball. It's a little meditative moment to get in touch with the ground and quiet himself. On a 1 1. These are buckled. 1 and 2. All spin so far from Valdez this time up. And that MVP of last year was that much more impressive when yeah. you consider that he had that happen a month into the season. He didn't just overcome the fear that he must have felt. He came back better than ever. On a 1 2 pitch, Harper gets another breaker and takes it. Ball two. Now, if Valdez wants to, he had, we haven't seen many four seamers, but to climb the ladder up with two strikes wouldn't be the worst pitch in the world after Harper's seen so many slow pitches and that internal radar gun that hitters have with their eyes. This pitch at 96 or 97 would look like 101. Now, there's not too many times in this postseason where he's seen this many non fastballs at any point. 75% of the pitches that he's seen in this World Series have been fastballs. On a 2 2, Harper swings and misses. It was a fastball and it was in on him. And strikeout number six for Framber Valdez, including his fourth in a row. Yeah, it's just so nasty after seeing breaking ball, breaking ball, breaking ball, and then he heats him up. Two seamer and eats him up. Look at the movement. It's right down the middle, and it ended up being a ball. And Harper tried to get it before it got him, and no luck. That is now 25 Ks for Framber Valdez in 15 innings against the Phillies over the last month. Strike on Castellanos. You figure that the more times you see a guy, yeah, the more information you've gathered, the more comfortable you're going to be. But so far, more the same. I mean, he's locked in, I mean, and what could have gotten him off the tracks, really, seriously, in that first batter from Kyle Schwarber after a walk last year, maybe he wouldn't have reacted the way he reacted this year. Oh, and two. So much better mentally. All that work with the sports psychology staff, a lot of encouragement from his manager. This is one of the most important moments of his career. It was one of the first conversations he had with Dusty Baker when he was still trying to break in. And Dusty said, Hey, you got a chance to be a big time pitcher for us. I believe in you. Now you got to believe in you. His 0 2. Drag left side and foul. Well, the disparity between his slowest pitch and fastest pitch is pretty dramatic. Because, as I talked about, it, each hitter kind of gauges in timing. They have their own timing mechanism. And when they think they've got something timed and it's by them, that is a. That messes with your mind. It starts becoming a little defeated. When you think I had that time, but I had no chance. And he's messing with all the hitters' timing in a very important game. 0 oh, 2 to Castellanos. Back foot misses. 1 and 2. He had 97. We showed a moment ago is the hardest pitch that he's thrown this year. He normally averages 94. And it's a lot of separation right there. Yeah. 78 to 94. But with the movement, he's got the velocity today, too. Shakes a few times and Gonna step off. Well, 19 miles. That's the spread between fastball and the slowest pitch. His one two. No swing, two and two. Almost hit it on the bounce.
Again, I don't know that he'll do this, but he could tie up Castellanos upstairs. Good low ball hitter. Will chase the curveball down. That's why it's enticing to do. And there you see it right there, just about eight inches above the plate. But he would most certainly tie him up with any heater up above his belt and possibly beat him. Here's his 2 2. Fastball poked down the line. Foul. A lot of the plate with that one. Yeah, he was late. If he could have got it up higher, then that would have been more of the swing and miss. But now he's at least reset him. What I mean by reset him, he's gotten that area of the pitch up that he went and swung at down the middle. Now a breaking ball off that same height might entice a swing out of the zone here on a 2 2 count. Eighth pitch coming to Nick Castellanos. Scoreless fourth inning. Another 2 2 from Fonder Valdez oh. is in the dirt. It's too low. And it's the right idea, but he started it too low and he knows it. He still has an aggressive hitter on a 3 2 count, so you still don't have to just throw a strike here. He makes a better breaking ball pitch here on 3 2. It'd be hard for Castellanos to not want to swing at it. Payoff pitch. Wow. Spoils it. But see what I'm saying? Like, that's a guy you put down on your scorecard and go, he doesn't want to walk right now. And if he doesn't want to walk, I don't have to throw a lot of strikes. Now, he did get him to three and two, so he's done something right. But that pitch was by far ball all the way, and he fouled it off. How about Castellanos, though, John? Working these long at bats yeah, the last he's couple He's getting games. closer and closer to the hitter that I think, again, next year is going to be a total different hitter for the Philadelphia Phillies. He was a beast the last couple of years. Hit 34 homers, above 300 average last year with the Cincinnati Reds. Only 12 home runs in his first year with the Phillies, and none so far in the postseason. Another 3-2. Strike three called. He went off of the inside corner to ring him up. Castellanos got to be careful here. Although he certainly has a case yeah. to have some beef with Lance Barksdale. Well, Castellanos, taller hitter, and he knows that that ball's down and possibly inside. But the little hesitation and fastball definitely off the plate. He's going to go back and check that iPad and be verified. But an incredible bat, and now five strikeouts in a row. And now you know, Castellanos saying, that's why I swing all the time. All right, I finally, I'm patient. I have a good take, and it means I strike out. Two up, two down, fourth inning. Alec Baum, who's got the lone hit of this game for the Phillies. Did it on the first pitch his last time. First pitch here. Here's a curve for a strike. Maldonado, before that pitch, just giving his starter more of an encouragement. Come on, come on, let's go. Guy Dusty Baker says is his general. Fly to right. No big deal for Kyle Tucker. That's a one, two, three, fourth inning for Fromber Valdez. Pitcher's duel going in game six. You've been working from home. But your roommate just took up percussion as a hobby. You need to drum up a new job quick and get out of here. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. An Indeed resume is more than a resume. It makes it easy to personalize your job search and even helps the right job find you. I see you're willing to relocate for work. Yes. Nemo's coming. We should find the fishman and kill him. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, PG-13, November 11th. Rated mature. We need an army. Look, okay, there's an army. No one fights alone. Available now. Online personal styling. What's that? That's Stitch Fix. 
And how can you help me? We do the shopping for you. How do you know what I like? And what fits. You tell us your size, budget, and style. Wait, is it a subscription? No commitment required here. And I only pay for what I keep? Yep. I live in denim. Can you send me jeans? We've got you. What about shoes? Mm-hmm. Style for me? For me? For me? For me. Always. We'll pick the clothes. You enjoy the great fit. Stitch Fix. There's nothing like hitting the waves. There's nothing like volunteering. But my moderate to severe eczema can make it hard. Now, I'm staying ahead of it. Dupixit helps heal your skin from within, so you can have clearer skin and noticeably less itch. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor about Dupixit. Bringing us back from break, one of these two teams going to be champs at the end of this weekend. Both pitchers locked in so far. Yeah, they're both executing extremely well, and of course, Wheeler probably doesn't have as many pitches because he's still got another half inning to pitch. And I would expect Pena to be really aggressive on this first pitch and see how Wheeler attacks it. Wheeler comes home. Jeremy Pena is aggressive. He's got a base hit on the first pitch of the fourth. And every time I think somebody's aggressive, it usually calls for an off-speed pitch. But Pena got a fastball up, as he's done all postseason, delivering as if he's a 10-year veteran. Ball's up, gets on top of it. Got a hit in every game in this World Series. It's a seven game hitting streak back to the last game of the championship series. And this kid has continued to answer every question and every step of the way. He's on to open the fourth. And Jordan Alvarez is at the plate. <coughs> Cutter to the corner for a strike. Great pitch. They've been trying to jam Alvarez and really tie him up and not let him get going. And every time you're looking at that thumper in the offense, you got to keep him quiet. And they have kept him quiet so far. Homered in each of the first two games of this postseason run for the Astros. They might not be here without him. They might not get out of the division series without him. But he's given him hardly anything since. Pops this one in the shallow center for Sosa. See, I'm dropping that. I know they don't do it. Oh, yeah. You trade the runners. You put Alvarez at first, and you get a little speed off the base. Nope. Did, does that. Anymore. Didn't you say you would do it? You, like you told coaches throughout your career, oh, yeah. you had a similar chance to do it. Yeah, I did it, but I blew it. Oh, no, you <laughs> threw, it into, <laughs> threw it into center? Yeah, a little different as a pitcher in a pop-up bunt. But no one ever does that anymore just because I think the fear factor of you know, somehow that guy gets on. Well, John, in game two, Zach Wheeler did settle in after they ambushed him in the first inning. And then in the fifth, this guy here, Alex Bregman, cranked a two-run home run against him. Six of those in the World Series in his career. Swings and misses, strike one. Well, the one thing that Zach has done a great job, and it's, it's kind of flirting with with fire but when you're so good at throwing the ball in against a hitter who's so good at damage in he's almost messing with Bregman's mind because no one pitches them like that so if you're good in or third you get him aware of the pitch way in and say I can beat you in where you're really good and so far Wheeler's been able to do that say, nobody makes me bleed my own blood <laughs> but he throws me fastballs in here 
Another fastball. It's fouled into the glove, and it's 0-2. But see, that's what it does. It opens it up. We Bregman doesn't swing and miss a lot in the strike zone. I mean, it's, it's under 10%. He just doesn't. But he was able, these two pitches, to get swings and misses. Really good two-strike hitter. Reach base all 12 games this postseason. They need first one gone and an 0-2 pitch. Breckman fouls it off. Now that one he got away with. And Wheeler kind of turned to the side after he threw it. That pitch was not where that needed to be. Set up inside and got it right down the middle. And lucky he got this one back. See how he set up in, but that's center cut. And the velocity just beat Bregman with two strikes. Wheeler tries again. This time a spinner, and he's out in front for strike three. Third strikeout for Zach Wheeler. Two away in the fourth. See, the angle of which he delivers the ball makes this pitch even better because you're seeing 97, and then there's that side kind of swing and miss type breaking ball that we don't see a lot out of Wheeler, but when he throws it, the numbers against it are, are awful for hitters. Two out, and you're going to face Tucker, who you said you were already worrying about if you're a pitcher, and now you, first time up, you had to show him ten pitches. Yeah, and, and a walk to boot. Uh -huh. Again, when you're in these kind of spots in the World Series, you're just trying to get away from the guy's sweet spot. Like, you don't even mind giving up a hit right here if it doesn't score a run, but you just want to stay away from, obviously, the two-out, two-run homer. We're in a tight game that seems like four runs to score. On the verge of elimination to boot, and it's a bouncing ball. Segura charges and gets Tucker to finish off the fourth. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies, Fromber Valdez for the Astros, just as it should be. Deep into the World Series. Game six, no score to the fifth in Houston. Nachos, better with Pepsi. <sighs> it's the biggest night in politics, and the midterm elections live on Fox News. With up-to-the-minute results on the states everyone will be watching on November 8th. Don't miss Democracy 2022 on Fox News. It was raining so hard, it would not stop. I put my feet on the ground, and there was water everywhere. I got in my Jeep, and I sat there from 4.30 to 7.30. They pumped out 1,000 gallons of water. You're powerless. There's absolutely nothing you can do. As a veteran of the United States Army, I understand service. That's why after my car accident, I called attorney Dan Newlin. Dan won my case and got me $300,000. Dan, your team's service was five star. Thank you for winning my case. Oh, that's my piece of the shakaroni. That's the biggest one we make. They donated a dollar from every shakaroni to the Papa John's Foundation. Dang, that's huge. If the hoop was as big as that pizza, maybe you'd have made some of your free throws. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody save me a slice. Where did he come from? <laughs> You might think a bad guy is sexy, but does he diversify your stock portfolio? Does he have a healthy relationship with his mother? Does he prioritize the cleanliness of his vehicle? Ooh. Predictable? That's sexy. The 2022 Toyota Corolla. Lease a new 2022 Toyota Corolla LE for just $229 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. At Take 5, you stay in your car because we're faster than you think. Oil change is done. But I didn't have time to fix my garage door opener. You gotta do what you gotta do. Take five to stay in your car, 10 minute oil change. Imagine life improving spine surgery performed using an incision this size. The board certified spine surgeons perform minimally invasive spine surgery using a three quarter inch incision. Something this small could change your life in big ways. Biospine.com. Most radical politicians hide their ties to extremist groups, but Anthony Nieves founded one. Nieves' agenda defund our police, disband school resource officers, and the Green New Deal, a 93 
$30 trillion socialist scheme funded by massive tax hikes, price hikes. There's no hiding it. Anthony Nieves is too extreme for the mainstream. Paula Stark will cut taxes and safeguard our communities. The right choice for this stark choice. Paula Stark for State House. The 2022 World Series on Fox is presented by Capital One. No score, fifth inning, game six. Phillies trying to force a game seven. Astros on the verge of a title. Bottom of the order for Framber Valdez, who's retired seven straight. Oh, Five no. Ks in there. Gene Segura showed bunt and pulled it back just in time. Yeah, if you're the Phillies in this on the road, you got to win the first five innings. At least that's the way you would feel. And so far, even though they're not winning, they're winning the first five innings because it's tied. Their pitcher is matching Valdez. Now, if their offense can kind of scratch anything across, what a lift that would be. Segura grounds one to second. And an easy play for Jose Altuve. One gone in his fifth for every home run hit this postseason. T-Mobile's donating five grand to Team Rubicon's hurricane recovery efforts. And when you text relief to 595959, T-Mobile donates another $5. 91 home runs hit this postseason. That adds up to $455,000 in donations for hurricane relief. Robert Valdez. Unique left handed pitcher. Ground ball inducing sinker. The swing and a miss slider. Away with the first one to Matt Veerling. And uh, speaking of unique, the only other left-handed pitcher to strike out five in a row in a World Series game, Sandy Koufax. 2-0. The Veerling is the last guy to reach. He walked on four pitches his first time, so he's seen six pitches, all balls. On this 2-0, strike one. Well, the mechanics again. I just fall in love with a guy who has clean mechanics for over the, really over the course of time. You, you repeat those mechanics, you shouldn't have trouble throwing strikes. And the only reason he has trouble throwing strikes sometimes is he's got such incredible movement on his pitches. And every once in a while, he takes the foot off the gas with his sinker, almost as trying to get ahead without really firing that two seamer in the zone. Altuve again, two up, two down. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Chevrolet, electric vehicles for everyone, everywhere. And by Indeed, we help people get jobs. Game six in 93. Phillies fans, for not to be reminded, Joe Carter's walk-off home run. Two quick outs in this fifth inning. Now the nine hitter Edmundo Sosa, who had the best swing of the day for the Phillies and just missed a home run. He sure did. Pulls it. 20 feet left. It's gone. Jordan Alvarez, the left fielder, caught it right against the wall, just beyond the Crawford boxes. Strike one. This is reminding me of game six in 91 where. Steve Avery dueled to a 0 0 game, our elimination game. We were down three games to two and ultimately won in the ninth, one to nothing. But when you have two pitchers doing this right here, you know the hitters are feeling the pressure too, saying, ah, oh, man, just scratch a run and then let our bullpen late go to work. All Avery did in that series was win two one to nothing games. Brown mm -hmm. does a gem of his own. Home with an 0 2 pitch. After he got rocked in both World Series starts last year, five runs in both games against Atlanta, failed to make it through the third inning in either. A year later, game two, six and a third, just one run. Game six, four and two thirds, no runs. And only one hit against him. A 
Another 0 2 pitch. You wonder why pitchers throw balls back out? It's because they don't have the feel. Not every baseball is particularly the same. And when you've had a baseball in your hand your whole life, you could blindfold every pitcher and you can know if it's oblong, if the stitching is too high, or what have you. And you can tell he's sweating pretty good just trying to get control over everything here and, and have another potential clean inning. Here's one, two. A ball fouled off, so severely stays alive. You're talking about the mix of Valdez. This is why it's so hard to hit him. Well, he's not very tall, but he throws tall. And what I mean by that is the ball comes out at that same slot. You have no idea. You have no idea right there until the end. You have no idea what it is, and you're trying to guess as a hitter. And that's why they have a lot of swings and misses out of the zone on breaking balls. He's carving through them tonight. Strikes out at Mundo Sosa. Robert Valdez, 8 Ks through 5 scoreless innings, halfway home in game 6. I'll be back in a sec. We can't wait forever. All your nacho fries, please. Fries. Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only at Taco Bell. This is what real food looks like. Fresh, real meat and veggies. The food dogs were built to eat. The farmer's dog is changing the way we feed our pets. Visit tryfarmersdog.com to see your dog's personalized meal plan. Introducing Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe, an advanced technology that allows our professional monitoring agents to capture evidence and verify a threat is real for faster police response. There's no safe like Simply Safe. There was this controversial figure. Everywhere he went, people challenged him. They questioned his ideology, trolled him, called him ugly names. But he never took the bait, never raised his voice refused to retaliate because he believed he could change the world by turning the other cheek. <sighs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah, it's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. And getting the network you want for $30? <gasps> Touchdown! Oh! Oh, no! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch because you'll get up to $960. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. Or like a, a, a tease. Let's see where this one takes me. Experience more with hard-to-get tables from Chase Sapphire Reserve. <laughs> wow. Chase, make more of what's yours. Thanks for helping me out. Of course. You can easily get helpful customer service over the phone or on the Progressive app pretty much anywhere. Like at the coffee shop, at the park, or on the moon. Just kidding. It's another coffee shop. <laughs> Well, the hardware is in the house tonight. Astros trying to win it. Philly's trying to force a chance to win it tomorrow. And these two starters back and forth, tremendous. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Progressive Insurance, a grand slam for your budget. Well, for the Astros in this fifth inning, six, seven, and eight coming up. Christian Vasquez grounded into a double play his first time. Wheeler comes home. Strike one with a fastball. Who's going to blink first? Neither starter willing to even think about the bullpen getting going.
Over the mound, waiting at second, Gene Segura. And Vasquez, the first out of the fifth. Up comes Trey Mancini, and we go down to Ken Rosenthal. Joe, Justin Baker's powers of observation are second to none. Late in game five, Trey Mancini took a 1-1 fastball for a strike. And Baker noticed that from his body language, Mancini was caught in between. The two talked about it today. Baker told him, trust your instincts, have a plan, stick to it. You see that conversation earlier today. And after he started the postseason 0 for 18, a base hit, first one against Wheeler, his first time up. Well, if he gets the two strikes again, I'd be shocked if Wheeler doesn't throw the breaking balls to get him a chase off the plate. Only one in that last at bat, and then he gave him a fastball that Mancini gladly touching first base. Euphoric feeling <laughs> when you're struggling. Deadline pickup from the Orioles. He takes by the hands, and it's one and one. And just another example of the touch of Dusty Baker, who has been a manager for 25 seasons. Trey Mancini, one of the 558 players that he's managed. A lot of those guys look at him as either like a brother figure or a father figure. And so many people, those former players or opponents of his when he was a player, watching this game from afar, pulling for Dusty Baker. The one-two to Mancini is fouled off. You know what we're going to see Dusty Baker do in this game, I feel? He'll be in the far end of the dugout. If this team doesn't score in the next couple innings, look for him to change some mojo. I've <laughs> seen him go down there, change spots, whatever it takes. Another one, too. Oh, nope. well, the go. day that he took the job in 2020, Dusty said, this is it. This is my last hurrah. This is my last chance to accomplish the goal. And now in his 3,981st game as a big league manager, he's one win away. Closest he's been since game six in 2002 when he was five outs away. The Angels scored... Three runs in the seven, three runs in the eighth to win that game and then beat his Giants the next night in game seven. A 2-2 two -two to Mancini. A good pitch from Wheeler. Two gone in the fifth. Well, you got a full slate of NFL action tomorrow on Fox, highlighted by Seahawks and Cardinals. Check for the game in your area. And on November 13th, one of the biggest games of the year in the NFC. Historic rivals face off in Lambeau, and the Cowboys take on the Packers. You know what I never asked Dusty of all these times we get to talk to him? Uh huh. Are those flavored toothpicks? Have you ever had a flavored toothpick? Yeah. Fantastic. Way better than the wooden taste. <laughs> <laughs> I would concur. <laughs> Jazz McCormick with two gone. Takes a strike. Well, I'm sure they're going to be watching. Rob's going to be watching to see how strong Wheeler stays with that four-seam and two-seam fastball. I've seen a high percentage of it. And right now, he's not showing any ill effects. The only thing you watch for when a pitcher gets a little fatigued is he starts getting a little lower with his release point flattens out those pitches and it doesn't have the same late life but right now at 61 pitches don't see any signs of that being the case on Zach Wheeler his 0 2 to McCormick fastball got him swinging back to back K's to finish off a 1 2 3 fifth and the top of the order for the Phillies coming up that means Kyle Schwarber when you come back Nice place. Thanks. Been renting five years. Did you know? Paying rent can now raise your credit scores instantly. Free. With experience. Wait, rent doesn't help your credit? It can now. With experience boost. It worked. About time. I'm good. Now rent can boost your credit scores instantly. Free with experience. Download the experience app now. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When you see got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoke. Check. 
When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid-free remission with Renvoke. Check. And when UC got the upper hand, Renvoke, Renvoke helped visibly repair, repair the, the colon, colon lining. lining. Check. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid-free remission, and a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Renvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections and blood clots, some fatal. Cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer. Death, heart attacks, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Renvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Renvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how Abvi could help you save. The Venture X Card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Ooh. My lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Enjoy your stay. Going up? and 10 times miles now. on hotels through Capital One oh. Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Oh, wine, please. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. T-Mobile believes in going beyond during times of need. And this postseason, for every home run hit, we're donating $5,000 to hurricane recovery efforts. And right now, when you text RELIEF to 595959, we'll donate another $5. We not only want you to face your fear, we want you to smash it. <laughs> Well, Capital One will be donating an incremental 300 grand to the Jackie Robinson Foundation for a season total of 550,000 to support the foundation's minority scholarship and leadership programs. No score to the sixth inning in game six. Top of the order for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber to lead off against Framber Valdez. Well, it's not desperate time yet for Philly, but the way this game is going and each pitcher being on their game and the bullpen that's waiting. You would think in this inning right here set up for the Phillies best chance of scoring and they really haven't had much. Valdez has retired 10 straight his first one to Schwarber's in for a strike a little tighter breaking pitch there. Well that's what he does he has the ability to show, shorten it and make it big. And Is a one. Now the Phillies' two wins in this series have reflected their season-long identities: perseverance in Game One, power in Game Three, and for the Astros, the last two wins have done the same. Two runs allowed the last two games by a team that's been led by its pitching all year. Valdez doing it again here in Game Six ahead of Schwarber one and two. Yeah, Schwarber's been in between tonight, and you can't blame him because it's tough to hit. When this guy on the mound is as good as he is, and Schwarber, the only way to really kind of combat that is to think the other way, but that's not who Schwarber is. He, we've already seen the 490, 488 foot home run pull side. On a one two pitch, he takes the ball. Because the reason I say that, if you don't understand that at home, is if a hitter is thinking middle to away, you stay longer and wait on a breaking ball, but they don't want to get beat on fastballs. So staying longer and waiting and the fastball comes you're you're late. So every hitter will tell you or most will tell you I'm on the fastball adjust to the breaking ball. Eh, well with a guy like this and the amount of breaking balls he throws sometimes you go up there sitting on it and get success. Let's see on 2 2. It's a fastball and it's cranked to right field and it's gone. Astros blink first. Schwarber with a blast, and it's 1-0 in the sixth. It's about as quick a hands as you're going to see when we get a chance to see this replay. And Schwarber has been doing this throughout his career. 
Watch how quick this is. This is a sinker that comes back into the middle part of the plate, and he makes it disappear. You've got to be so quick to the ball right there. And poo. That's what the Phillies needed. First one to score. Schwarber with his third home run in the last four games, his sixth in his last 11 games, and it's 1-0 Phillies in the okay. sixth. You know, I said he's been in between on some of the pitches. He got <clears throat> really caught looking twice, but got the benefit of a call that turned into a walk the yeah. next time he struck out. Well, whatever his game plan was the third time, Check that off as an execute. Does it again in the postseason. Here's a soft bouncing ball left side. Bregman with a bare hand. What a play by Alex Bregman. Well, you got to be so quick on your feet. And this play right here is practiced a thousand times in his mind and in spring training and it becomes a staple for most third basemen who are so gifted like Bregman is. One away in the sixth. Framber Valdez gives up a home run at home for the first time since July 3rd. <coughs> Got the call there. Strike one on Rio Muto. You know what the best part about it? He didn't he didn't budge. He didn't move. He didn't get mad, didn't change his emotion. Certainly don't want to give it up, but Bregman again, this one much easier. And Rio Muto is out number two. Let's go back and look at this pitch sequence on Schwarber and just first two times he had him baffled all right so he starts off with the hard breaking ball throws the slower one good take so far that one right there buckled him but then he came right back with a breaking ball off the plate and the fastball inner third and he turned on it and didn't let it come back most experienced guy in the postseason on this Phillies roster Kenny told us he addressed the team after they fell behind 3-2 in Philadelphia the wisdom he picked up and his previous six trips to the postseason, Harper shows okay. blunt and takes a ball. For Kyle Schwarber, it was his 15th postseason home run. Well, for Rob Thompson, that's huge. Even though it's only one run, it allows him to manage the game. He's going to manage this game, obviously, as a game seven, so his starter gets in any trouble. He'll have his horses ready to go. He prefer a little more leash than a one run, but at least gives him some momentum to get guys ready to finish this game. And Zach Wheeler was a massive question coming into this game, given the velocity being down last time. But he has answered all of those questions, and they finally have gotten him some support. Harper turns on a ball down the line, hooking. Foul. He nearly parked one of his own out there well we talked about and you've t you've asked me you know what's easier when you've had success to pitch again or when you haven't had success in making the adjustment i think when you haven't had success in making an adjustment we saw verlander do it grind out a win we we've seen so far wheeler do it now and take a difference of his first game to his second game in the world series curve gets into chase and finishes off the six, but the Phillies break through first. Babe Schwarber again. Started last game with a home run. Starts the scoring here in game six with a home run. It's 1-0 Philadelphia facing elimination in game six. That's half the fun of a new house, seeing what people left behind in the attic. Well, saving on homeowner's insurance with GEICO's help was pretty fun, too. Oh, it's a tiny dancer. Well, they left a ton of stuff up here. Well, enjoy your house. Nope.
No, thank you. GEICO could help you save on homeowners and renters insurance. COVID-19. Some people get it, and some people can get it bad. And for those who do get it bad, it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, asthma, or smoking. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, don't wait. Ask your healthcare provider right away if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. What's Thunderstruck on Carnival? What's Thunderstruck? Thunderstruck is... Are you guys ready to get Thunderstruck? I am. You got thunderstruck. You are going to witness Look out the window. an absolute spectacle. Showtime. Oh. That's big. I'll be. Why do they always have to go bigger? Are you pulling on my legs right now? I don't know. Let's go! Yeah! It was my son Jaden's fifth birthday, and he wanted Chick-fil-A. My husband was a Marine. Her husband's a Marine. Her husband had been gone for almost six months at that time. And I just knew that we had to do something extra special for him. When I get to the door, actually, I was very surprised. We brought the cow out and delivered to them. Do you know who that is? Jaden was really excited about it. I wanted to be that extra family for them that night. <gasps> oh, thank you. Some things leave you guessing. MailChimp takes the guesswork out of email marketing by analyzing data from billions of emails to offer suggestions for how to improve engagement and revenue. Guess less and sell more with Intuit MailChimp. Zach Wheeler pitching with the lead for the first time. 1-0, bottom of the six, and ball one on Maldonado. 9-1-2 and two for the Astros after Kyle Schwarber launches his third home run of the World Series. Joins Chase Sutley and Ryan Howard as the only Phillies to home run back to back games in the World Series. One ball, one strike. Wheeler has been all over it. Only two, three ball counts. And that's how you get your team with a chance and elimination. He has almost been perfect. Until <laughs> there, he hits Maldonado. And Matt, you've said it a hundred times this postseason. A leadoff base runner feels like a rally, and especially when it comes in front of the top of the order. Yeah, what they're discussing there is that he didn't make an attempt or dove into it, and I don't think he did. And I think this is the right call. We saw before where uh, it was uh, a very obvious lean in. And he did pull his arm back, and that's all they can ask for. When you think about getting hit when pitches in. If he makes no movement and even goes towards home plate with his elbow, they can make that call differently. It was uh, Ledmus Diaz in game one of the World Series who leaned into it. Philadelphia has challenged. Yeah, they're challenging it, hoping that it hit the bat, but they're going to see real quickly that that's not the case. You know, you got to make an attempt to get out of the way, and you can't make it to where you're trying to get hit. And so, clearly hit by the pitch, and I don't know if they're challenging the fact that you can even challenge him directly making that move to get hit. Certainly, there is no question on whether it hit the batter. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The batter was hit by the pitch. He's awarded And it's not reviewable the whether or not he tried to get hit. Right. And so the leadoff man is on. Top of the order's up, and we go down to Tom Verducci. Well, we saw Martin Maldonado last year in the World Series take an intentional walk by getting right on top of the plate. Essentially, he wasn't going to swing. This time, if you notice, he got right up on the chalk line to the batter's box, almost daring Wheeler to come in with that two-seamer running in on him. 
Yeah, anything the Astros can get from Maldonado offensively yeah. is gravy. He'll chip in any way he can. And that's right, Tom, because they were pitching and pounding him in. So once you've seen that, I think it was a great move. We don't see hitters move in the box at all anymore. They plant their feet and they stay. Well, Maldonado getting in might have just got him on. Altuve, John, has struck out both times. Heavy dose of fastballs. First one, very high. All right, so Maldonado, take a look at where he was his previous at-bat in the third, and now look at where he is this at-bat. Yeah, I mean, that's just great on his part and challenging the pitcher to stay with his game plan by pounding in with the fastball. Well, it worked for him. One ball, no strikes. El Tube takes ball two. the third. Boom the second one. Segura to first. Not in time. El Tuve's on on the fielder's choice. Well, they get a faster base runner out there. I tell you what, that was a gutsy pitch on a 2-0. He came in and I think broke the bat of El Tuve. That just tells you what late life Wheeler still has. 2-0 pitch. You're going to a guy's sweet spot and he's leaning in. Break his bat. Certainly not hit hard enough to turn two. And so Altuve's on and Pena's up. We talk about Jeremy Pena answering all the questions that have been asked along this season. He's been the only answer for the Astros for much of this World Series lately. He's four for his last six. Rest of the team is seven for 45 in those two games. Tying on a board, go ahead, run at the plate. Jeremy Pena. Now this might be Wheeler's last hitter. Alvarado is warming up. Unless there's a double play here, more than likely you'd think he'd come in to face Alvarez. And those throwovers, by the way, are to give the big left-hander more time. That's not throwing over thinking absolutely he's going to steal. It has a dual purpose. Keep him close and give Alvarado a little more time in the pen. Wheeler to Pena. Outside ball one. Twice in this series as we take a look at our player resume sponsored by Indeed. Jeremy Pena has been the last hitter that a pitcher faced. Yeah. But it hadn't worked out very well. No. There was a reason he became the last hitter. He homered to chase Noah Syndergaard. Singled to chase Aaron Nola. On this 1-0, Pena grounds one through, base hit center field. Altuve heads for third. Veerling's throw comes into second. Astros have him cornered. <laughs> and for the third time in six games in this World Series, it's Jeremy Pena putting the finishing touches on a Philly starter. Right up the middle. Seems simple, but not a lot of guys can do it. Speed on the bases. Pressure on the Phillies now. Trying the Astros trying to answer. So they've got Altuve in third representing the tying run. They've got Pena at first representing the go-ahead run. Zach Wheeler's finished. Jose Alvarado's coming on to face your Don Alvarez. We found the right model. Now what would make you feel comfortable with the price? Well, no one made me feel more comfortable than my kindergarten teacher, Miss Jane. 
This one is special. And this one is also special. What's really special is saying, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Look for me and stop overpaying. Shop at the all-new Carfax.com. The Hexagon. The perfect building block for innovation. Using a pattern design and hybrid construction, Hexlab combines the performance of stainless steel cookware with the convenience of non-stick. And that all adds up to this. Welcome to the hybrid revolution. Welcome to Hexlab. Get up, get moving, and gradually reduce grays the easiest way. Just step into the shower with Just For Men Control GX Shampoo. The first and only shampoo that blends away a little gray with every wash for a subtle, natural look. Control GX from Just For Men. I've always wanted to do that. Next round on me. <laughs> This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. What's worse, having erectile dysfunction or having to talk about it? With Roman, we've made it easy to connect with a healthcare professional online. They'll work with you to find the right treatment plan, and if prescribed, your medication will ship discreetly to your door. Roman, let's take care of it. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. In just two weeks, the biggest sporting event in the world kicks off. Christian Pulisic leads the U.S. men's national team as they return to the World Cup stage for the first time in eight years. The FIFA World Cup starts November 20th on Fox and FS1. So after five scoreless innings, Kyle Schwarber lit the fire with a solo shot to lead off the sixth against Framber Valdez. Astros wasting no time. Maldonado crowded the plate, got hit by a pitch. He was replaced by El Tuve on a fielder's choice. And then a base hit for Jeremy Pena has runners at the corners. Jordan Alvarez coming up. And Jose Alvarado, this is the matchup, John, they've looked for all series. They're going to have it again. Alvarez facing off with Alvarado. Well, you want to be a reliever in the big leagues. Uh, the last couple times now, Alvarado has had the bases loaded, nobody out. Unfortunately, a tough situation didn't work out well. Now he's got first and third, one out, much better situation as opposed to bases loaded, nobody out, but facing a guy that he is hoping he can either get a ground ball double play or a swing and a miss strikeout to keep this game one nothing. And Alvarado is kind of guy that can do that. He's faced him three times, 0 for 2. He hit him with the bases loaded last time he faced him. First pitch, ground ball foul. Jordan Alvarez, walk-off home run, first game of the postseason. Game-winning home run, game two of the postseason. Five for 42 cents. 40 at-bats since that go-ahead home run in game two. Well, he won the battle on the first pitch. He thought he could get him a uh, first strike and looked for him to go to that hard cutter to get a swing over the top barrel, but he was all over that sinker first pitch. Here's the 0-1. Alvarez takes way outside. Real Muto able to get his glove to it. One ball, one strike. Pena trying to mess up the vision of Alvarado he's got kind of a big one-way lead meaning he's jockeying trying to get Alvarado to think differently that he might be going even though he's just staying right there can your down Alvarez come through he's ahead two and one when you come in as a reliever especially late in the game you're always thinking how can I get out of the jam but sometimes you got to make sure, how can I avoid the big inning? The base is loaded, nobody out. That's two runs or less would be getting out of a jam. Here, at bare minimum, you've got to keep the game tied. Obviously, the best case scenario is you go back in the inning up one nothing. 
On a 2-1, Alvarez hits a high drive center field. Veer leans back. This game is turned upside down. Titanic drive for the ages over the batter's eye in center field. And Jordan Alvarez has given the Astros a 3-1 lead in the sixth inning. Bregman. We talked about it. It was his 3-1 homer in game one that possibly could be the reason they're here. And it's his three-run homer that possibly could be the reason why they win the World Series. What a blast. And the more you see a reliever in a series, the better chances start going to the hitter. And you saw he knew right away. Everybody in this crowd knew right away. And unfortunately, Alvarado knew right away. You're not supposed to be able to hit him up there. No. I don't think I've ever... I didn't think that was possible. Two zero. -oh. Ball three. If you can believe it, not many teams wanted Jordan Alvarez coming out of Cuba. And the biggest reason why, nobody thought that he'd hit for enough power. In his last two years in Cuba, he hit one home run, and it was an inside-the-park home run. Then he comes to the United States, he keeps working, works all day on his swing, adds the power, starts weightlifting, starts eating better, and now you've got a full-fledged monster who's vying to be a World Series hero. Well, I told you Dusty Baker was going to move positions. You know where he's at? <laughs> he's at the camera well and third down the first baseline. Don't tell me. That managers are just like players. Had he moved down there before the home run? Yes. Oh, my goodness. The magic touch. Dusty Baker. And it's the guy that he has many times said reminds him of a young Barry Bonds. With the biggest swing of this World Series. A 3-2 to Breckman. He's in the dirt. That's ball four. One more look. Well, not one more, but for now, another look at a 450-foot shot. 450 feet straight away is like hitting a 500-foot down the line pull. And I'm telling you. It's the loudest this place has been in a while, and certainly Dusty. Uh-huh. First home run since the division series. If it holds up, all three home runs this postseason will be game winners for Jordan Alvarez. Astros looking for more. They've got Bregman aboard in the walk. And they've got Kyle Tucker at the plate. Sir Anthony Dominguez getting ready. This is how Rob Thompson has managed the entire postseason. This is how he successfully guided the Phillies to this point. That was the matchup they wanted. But seeing him for a fourth time, Alvarez wins the battle. Kyle Tucker. Ball one gets away from Rio Muto. 
And it's unraveling on Jose Alvarado. Yeah, unfortunately for Jose, he's been Mr. Incredible for Philadelphia. Been in almost as many games as you can imagine. Unfortunately, he's inherited five runners in this series, and all five have scored. We talked about the, the three are almost impossible. Bases loaded, nobody out. I don't know many people that can kind of wiggle out of that. And right now, you know he's got to be frustrated. And that guy had no chance of catching a home run ball. Zero. That probability was less than yeah. one. They need to get that guy some security. It looks like they already got some security for him. That is one you want to hold on to. Ball and a strike on Tucker. Well, it is so imperative now for Philadelphia to kind of slow this momentum down. And that's why they got their other big time reliever up because they know. Seven eight nine against some flame throwing bullpen of Houston. One one pitch. Ball two on Tucker. This would fulfill the three batter minimum for Jose Alvarado. So Anthony Dominguez is ready to come in as soon as that's complete. Zach Wheeler, five scoreless innings. First three weeks against him here in the six. Bullpen comes in. You blink, and the game has changed. 2 1. And see, I, I know that, you know, the, the hardest part about managing in the, po in the postseason is everything gets critiqued, everything gets second guessed, everything's always micromanaged. And. Because you said it, this is what he's done. Wheeler at 70 pitches, even though he'd given up, you know, just that single up the middle, the matchup called for lefty on left, and it did not work out so far for the Phillies. Full count. And the reason you, you can say that is, is because the feeling and rhythm of a starting pitcher is exactly that. When he's connected, I'll tell you every hitter will tell you the same thing you took him out. Thank you Even though the next guy throws 99. Thank you because this it's just you've seen the flow of the game But it is The way Philadelphia and the matchups of their great left-handed and right-handed combination pitchers have been doing it all see all postseason It worked until the last two times well the third time through the order of penalty is a real thing. That's why the game has changed. You have all these great relievers coming in to protect instead of having a guy face a lineup for the third time. But another penalty is something you're touching on, and that is seeing the reliever time yes. and again throughout the series. You Just a different kind yeah, of problem. You rarely, you're not going to see a reliever in a regular season in a three game series three times. You're just not. But in the postseason, in a seven game series, you could see him four to five times. And that hitter starts gaining info and deep, you know, and taking advantage of it. Tucker on 3 2. Grounds one again foul. And the other side of the coin is we think that relievers are immune to just every time they get out there, they're going to have the same stuff every single time. You know how many times they warm up and don't get in or have to rev the engine? So this is what the Philadelphia Phillies have been able to do and it's why they're here. Ranger Suarez down there in the Phillies bullpen. Another 3-2. Tucker down swinging. Now the other side of that coin John is that one thing that can give the Phillies some hope going later into this game is that even as dominant as the Astros pen has been all postseason they're seeing the same guys as well Dusty Baker's run the same arms out there throughout this World Series and as he tries to protect a narrow lead here late you've got Presley and Montero who have both pitched in four of the five games it's going to do it for Jose Alvarado your Don Alvarez so many monster home runs throughout his short big league career but none bigger than this a three-run shot that takes a 1-0 deficit makes it a 3-1 lead for the Astros. One win from a world championship.
Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only at Taco Bell. I've always been prone to hair thinning. I'm genetically predisposed. I just gave birth. I was under a lot of stress. I was getting older. I started taking Nutrafol. It's natural and it's clinically effective. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. Within like months, I noticed it becoming stronger and thicker. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. I am back to me. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. I've always wanted to do that. Next round on me. We found a movement because we believe you shouldn't have to choose between a great watch and a fair price. Our watches are uniquely designed in-house, clean, modern watches crafted with top-tier materials. Join the movement now at MVMT.com. This quarterback today, he looks daring, unafraid, bold, powerful dominant yeah but what about the tight end what it's the most underrated position on the field check this out see cletus you're not the only high-tech machine around here yeah put on whatever you want <laughs> always repping buddy i love it Sir Anthony Dominguez, two gone, bottom of the six. That's a big run sitting out there at second as Christian Vasquez takes ball one. What a, what a crazy sixth inning. Right? How much fun is this? It's I mean, right now, Phillies fans are saying no fun at all, but as a fan of baseball, it doesn't get any better. One ball, one strike. You know, there may be some people that have an issue with how this inning started, and I get it. I mean, but it wasn't the super intentional hit by pitch. It was just the intentional get on top of the plate with a guy that struggles to get hits. He got hit, and it started a three run out. One ball, two strikes on Vasquez. Yeah, there's so many things. And you know, you look back at moments in the World Series, and you look back and you'll find that home run ages from now if the Astros hang on to win this game. But so many moments when you squint and look within the yeah. games, within the innings. And Maldonado, that subtle adjustment from the no offense catcher, starts what at this point is the key rally. And I really thought, again, you know, it's it's not second guessing, but I really thought that Alvarado was going to have to hit a cutter, and he did. He had a he had a straight down the middle two seamer at 98, 99, and it was not the pitch obviously that Alvarado was trying to locate. It was a 99 mile per hour fastball, which makes it the fastest pitch that Jordan Alvarez has homered on in his career. Base hit left field, Christian Vasquez. Bregman heads home. Schwarber can't get it cleanly. Massive insurance run. Knocked in by Vasquez. Vasquez, we said, is a good low ball hitter. And where was that pitch? It was in off the plate, but it was low, and he allowed him to get the barrel of the bat to the ball. Schwarber trying to make a do-or-die play, field it and throw. Don't think it would have mattered, but what a huge two-out base hit. And so the two catchers for the Astros chipping in in their own individual ways in this sixth inning. You can detail what Maldonado did, and now Christian Vasquez, just his third start of the postseason. This one coming is the DH. A two-out RBI single to make it 4-1. Trey Mancini. One one. I mean, I'm a little bit surprised that 
Hoskins is playing that kind of halfway off the bag and letting Vasquez get as big a lead as he wants. One and two. middle Segura good range across his body and a pick from Hoskins that ends the sixth and the sixth inning is the one that you'll circle at this point looking back on game six Schwarber got the Phillies in front and then a legendary swing from Jordan Alvarez it's 4-1 Houston after six November 13, November 13, an iconic showdown shaped by history, fueled by passion, a rivalry, rivalry. reborn. Cowboys, Packers, November 13th on Fox. We discovered Mr. Sill's car. There was some blood. I never chased One thing we did notice missing was his airplane. He simply got in the airplane, never to be found again. We have had nothing in 10 years. I'm open for any suggestions of where that plane may be. I was crashed into by a reckless driver and called attorney Dan Newland. Dan won my case and got me $500,000. As one of the largest personal injury law firms in the United States, my team and I remain committed more than ever to win big on your case. Involved in a car accident? Let's get started. Call me at 407-888-8000. Thank you, Dan, for winning my case. You might think a bad guy is sexy. But does he diversify your stock portfolio? Does he have a healthy relationship with his mother? Does he prioritize the cleanliness of his vehicle? Predictable? That's sexy. The 2022 Toyota Corolla. Get 1.9% APR for 36 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. For the last two years, Florida has led the nation, but we still have some challenges. I'll fight for common sense solutions to protect our lakes, deal with traffic issues, and keep our schools safe without raising taxes or coming up with another big government program that threatens our freedom or our jobs. I'll put people over politics, and I'll always fight for you. We may not know where the ride will take us, but one thing's for sure. With the Law Tigers network of Florida motorcycle lawyers, you never ride alone. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, call 1-800-LAW-TIGERS, Florida's motorcycle lawyers. Qualifying provider service. The Biospine Institute is excited to announce the opening of a new Deltona facility. Biospine's minimally invasive procedures performed by nationally recognized spine surgeons are in network with the majority of health insurance plans. The Biospine Institute, now in Deltona. MLB's RBI program is designed to support organizations that provide baseball and softball playing opportunities to youth and underserved communities. Visit MLB.com slash RBI for more information. So this is up to the Astros bullpen, which has been historically good. Hector Neris making his third appearance of the series. Ball one on Nick Castellanos. The Phillies have had answers all year. They were eight games below 500 at the end of May. They were the last team into the postseason field. Started their postseason by scoring six runs in the ninth inning to erase a deficit. That's a strike and it's one and one. Did it in the division series. Did it in the championship series. Came back from 5-0 game one of the World Series. Can they take another haymaker and punch back again? Or is this the Astros time? Houston nine outs away from a second World Championship. One and two on Nick Castiano. Well, the one thing that this series goes longer, you think the Houston Astros gain the momentum and they have the, the advantage. Well, 
They took the hottest offense at home and they started the last 27 innings really dominating with their pitching and that's what they're that's how they got here and their bullpen has been almost unhittable so they have when they were down they have flexed their muscles with their arms and timely hitting. Naris deals Castellanos gets it off the end of the bat shallow right center field El Tube says that he's got it and does well the Phillies took a 2-1 series lead by hitting five home runs in game three Christian Javier then comes back and unthinkably has six innings and a combined no hitter Verlander gets his first World Series win giving up one run over five innings and then from does tonight continuing what the identity of this Astros team has been all year yeah it started with that man Javier he kind of closed the narrative of this unbeatable team at home in the Phillies and then look at the Astros have done in the postseason that is that's about all you can ask for that's five runs in 51 and a third John. and four of those five runs came on four solo home runs yeah yeah so it wasn't anything other than solo home run you think they could score the Astros did enough. They only scored so far in this World Series in nine different innings. But it's a crooked number in six of those that have helped them so far. 0 oh, 2 on Alec Bohm. That's been the thing all year. Just enough from the offense. They've not been as good of an offensive team as they have in recent years during this great run. But they've been good. And the pitching staff has been great. Plenty enough to make it all hold up. Boehm, who's one for two today. It's one of the two hits for the Phillies. He's one for three. Neris flames a fastball by him. This is just go ahead and hit it. Top of the zone. Flame. 94 looking like 98 from the old Philly. Eight years in Philadelphia, didn't get a chance to play in the postseason, hit free agency, and his number one priority was going somewhere that he felt like could take him to October. And here in November, trying to provide the bridge to the clinching game in the World Series. James Segura with the bases empty in two out. Late on a fastball, which has been sneaky fast in this inning. Oh, man, he is... Staying back over the rubber and letting his fastball go. Haven't really even got to his great split finger that often. You see he's going to hold the grip behind him as a split finger. And then when he goes to the glove, if he needs to change, he changes to a fastball much easier than doing the opposite. Giddy up. Because if he holds the fastball behind his body, then he has to do too much to change to the split. So anyone who throws splits, in the big leagues they will always hold it as a split and then change it in the glove to something else if they have to there's a good look at it right there oh two pitch oh, got him Hector Neris with a one two three seven the Astros are six outs away and now stay tuned for a look at Disney's Strange World in theaters November 23rd. And now a special look at Disney's Strange World. Strange World is crazy, bizarre, adventurous, mysterious, exciting, thrilling, dangerous, mind-blowing. So many other vocabulary words. But most of all, strange. 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 It's a strange world. Our mission is dangerous. If you want to back out, this is the time to do it. We're the plays. We love danger. They venture into this very strange world. What is this place? the danger around every curve. Ah! The cliffs are alive, and the waters will dissolve the flesh off your bones. Whoa. The 
flamethrower. Comes in pretty handy. Can you not show off while we are running for our lives? Grandpa's awesome. He is not awesome. There's a lot of history between the searcher and his father. How are you, my dad? Well, when two people love each Don't other. Stop talking! Stop talking! Wall of monsters! Watch out for the wind! Ah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you miss me? Do you mind if I call you Splat? So cute! I want to merchandise it. It's three generations learning to be okay with everyone charting their own course. I love that. I'm loving this family reunion, but come on! We got a world to save! Strange World is beyond your wildest imagination. Everything down here is trying to kill us! If you like a good time, you'll love Strange World. Pushing buttons, bad splash. Mm -hmm. Disney's Strange World, rated PG, only in theaters November twenty third. Get Black Friday deals now at Target. Plus, score more Black Friday deals all month long. Get low prices and great deals, so you can holiday your way only at Target. It's going to be raucous. Wait for it. Wait for it. Showtime. Wow. Oh, my. There's a lot of pride on the line. Congratulations. You are the champion. Let the celebration begin. Throw to second is. Oh, in time. Oh, man. Running out of room. And he makes it. Oh, come on in. Wow. Legendary swing from Jordan Alvarez and that insurance and a base hit from Christian Vasquez. 4-1 Astros to the bottom of the seventh for an organization looking for its second championship. Sports Illustrated famously predicted in 2014 that they would win it in 17. And they did. They've been three times since. Looking for their first title since the 2017 season. Five players remain from that 2017 team. Three position players as they look for their second title and their first one since. Down to the field, here's Ken Rosenthal. Well, guys, a World Series title here would not vindicate the franchise. It wouldn't validate what happened in 2017 and 18. The illegal electronic sign stealing for which the Astros were fined $5 million, stripped of their first and second round draft picks in 2020 and 21. There are some of the same players who remain, but this is a different team. Some of the heroes tonight, much different. Pena, Alvarez, Valdez. A different manager, Dusty Baker. A different general manager, James Click. And we are playing under different rules, stricter rules regarding electronic sign stealing. These Astros should be celebrated for who they are. They lead 4-1, bottom of the seventh inning. Chaz McCormick leads off against Zach Eflin. That's how it off. Good. He got me back here. And one of the guys remaining from that 2017, Lance McCullers, when the cheating scandal was revealed, he said, we knew the one thing we could do was win, and we could win a lot. We understand people still aren't going to like us. We knew if we kept winning, you'd at least have to start to respect us. And a sixth consecutive trip to the championship series this year, a fourth World Series trip in six years, and as Kenny touched on, the GM has changed, the manager's changed, the roster is almost entirely changed, but the winning hasn't. And now the Astros are on the verge of an undeniable title. A 1-2 to McCormick in the dirt, 2-2. Two and two. Still have six outs to get, and Dusty Baker's been in this spot before. Leading late. Leading the series 3-2 in game six. Back to 2002, we're touching out when he was with the Giants against the Angels. Well, if you're going to do something improbable like the Phillies have done in this season to get to this point, 
you might as well continue that theme and do the improbable against a bullpen that has not given up anything. So Philadelphia counted out June 3rd. Start of the postseason counted out World Series. It defied logic over and over. Swing and a miss from McCormick. One gone in the seventh. And now a quick word from Capital One. Capital One is the official bank and credit card partner of Major League Baseball. What's in your wallet? Martin Maldonado, one of those footnotes to the big sixth inning. He started it by getting right on top of the plate and getting hit by a pitch. Strike one from Eflin. And Maldonado, even though he's one of the worst offensive players statistically in baseball, Astros would tell you he's one of the most valuable guys on the team with his defense or the way that he handles the staff. One of the guys said if we could quantify preparation and leadership, this guy would lead the league. And you add in the, the little wrinkles that he can provide you offensively like he did last inning. And he's moved back to a normal spot in the box here. It's one and two. On the left is his at bat in the third. Uh, on the right, when he got hit in the sixth. And that's well within the game. I mean, you just don't see batters switch anything. You don't see batters take away sinkers, get up in the box. You don't see anybody move. He hits one in the air to left field, but hooked it off the end of the barrel. Kyle Schwarber runs under it two away. And for that, I give him a ton of credit. I mean, it may not look pretty. It might look to some people like, eh, that's not baseball. It actually is in this moment to do something different when you can't, you, you may be a little bit an underdog when it comes to hitting against, let's say, Wheeler. And it proved to be the inning. Well, Tuve reached on a fielder's choice in that inning. No for three with a couple K's. Astros trying to win a World Series without getting an RBI from El Tuve in the postseason. But I just find this so amazing that we set up the series in a way where Alvar Alvarado, the third hitter, has been the has been the target by the Phillies bullpen. But it's been Pena that has made that target harder to be successful because every time they came in to face Alvarado Pena had done something special and even though Alvarado was one in four in those situations it's a pretty good one two balls in one strike well the Phillies will hope to capitalize on a similar thing. They're going to see Brian Abreu likely. It'll be the fourth time that they see him. And then you've got Ryan Presley, who the Astros would have for the ninth inning. They've seen him five times. Take your pardon four times they've seen Presley. This would be the fifth. Eflin home with a 2 2. Altuve waits on it, yanks it to the left field corner. That's down. Altuve on his way to second with a two out double as Schwarber digs it out. Now tied for fourth all time with his 103rd postseason hit. Well, they got a hanger right in the middle of the plate, hooked it down the line. I think he was content to get a single, and then this allowed him to get to second. And now Jeremy Pena. Continued his MVP case. Two more hits in this game. <laughs> Two seam first strike. 
Who's got your vote? If this holds up right now, is it him or is it Framber Valdez? I, I mean, it, it, he's gotten a hit in every series. Or is it Jordan Alvarez? I guess. I mean, no, it's 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 got it's between those two. It's between Valdez and Pena, and I would lean towards Pena as much as I'm a pitcher at heart. Sitting 417 in this World Series. One ALCS MVP. Tries to become the first rookie position player to win World Series MVP. Two rookie winners have been pitchers Larry Sherry for the Dodgers in 1959, and then Levon Hernandez for the Marlins in 97. It really is a tough call because you've got a starting pitcher that just gave up two runs and two outings to a really, really good offense, and then you've got this guy playing every day and doing everything. So. Going pain. All right. Oh, two to him. Chase the breaking ball, and that finishes off the seventh. Phillies have six outs with which to work. Down four one. Down three two in the series. Sabreu coming in. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. We need a clutch hit, Derek. Derek Jeter. Hang in there, rookie. Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? What will you do? What will you change? Will you make something better? Will you create something entirely new? Our Dell Technologies advisors provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. Because we believe there's an innovator in all of us. the outside though sure it's beautiful but it's real power is inside where it does things other phones can't do which is how it takes stunning photos in the dark and why it can edit annoying items out of pictures or shoot extreme close-ups and unblur faces why it'll even put some of that genius in your ears or on your wrist beautifully of course introducing the new google pixel watch google pixel buds pro and our newest google pixel phones yeah, no. No way! You couldn't miss your chance to get Francisco Lindor's autograph. Big fan. But now you're going to need someone new to sign your paycheck. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When you upload your resume to Indeed, you get personalized job suggestions based on your skills and preferences. So you'll be back in the game in no time. Yeah! 48. 49. 50. Got it? There's a better way to bring the game home. Visit MLBShop.com for today's special offer. Predict which players will stack the most total bases each day during the postseason. Compete to win 50 grand. Enter MLB Base Chase in the MLB Play app or through MLB.com slash play. Restrictions apply. See official rules for details. Eighth inning, 4-1 Astros. They lead the series three games to two. They lead the game by three. Brian Abreu's on, and Bryson Stott will pinch it for Matt Beerman. Strike one. You know, they talk about, you know, in NASCAR, how much horsepower your car has. You know what the Astros have in the, in the bullpen? A ton of horsepower. A 98-mile-an-hour fastball and a slider that's virtually unhittable out of Abreu. Caught at third by a drawn in Bregman. They put 98 and played it, Stott, but Bregman quick hands as the hot corner proves to be exactly that. I mean, this is the hot corner. It didn't come off quite as 
hard, but still, when you're in, you got to have good re to have good reaction. And outs and out. Now there's only five left for Philly. Another pinch hitter here with the righty on the mound. Here is Brandon March. Try to get some traffic ahead of the top of the order. Well, the Phillies since hitting five home runs in game three have scored just three runs on nine hits since. They are nine for their last 93. takes away one ball one strike and here sits Dusty Baker again that close five outs away for Dusty That's out. two and one I mean, every club's looking for a guy like this, right? I mean, that they want a bullpen full of them, and there's so many great arms in the game today. Houston just happens to have a lot of them. Abreu's 2-1 is hit in the air to deep right center field, but Tucker settles under it, and Marsh is out number two in the eighth. A quick word from Evan Williams Bourbon. Postseason calls for award-winning bourbon. Evan Williams, 1783 Small Batch. And Brian Abreu didn't even start playing baseball until he was 14. He was a basketball player. He had very little time for sports anyways, because from the time he was 11 or 12, he was working two jobs to help his family out. He was working in construction. He was working with his uncle, who was a mechanic. And when he played baseball, he was a hitter and an outfielder. And then somebody said, why don't you give pitching a try? Changed his life. Here he is in the eighth inning of what he and the Astros hope is the clinching game. Kyle Schwarber. Strike one. Wicked rip at a wicked pitch. Well, Schwarber, uh, Joe. We started this postseason. He couldn't look more lost. But boy, he found it in the right time and he found it and got back locked in to being the most dangerous left handed hitter to lead off a game with power. Wow. Not exactly a speedster. Yeah, kind of guy that uh, makes you uncomfortable right away as that starting pitcher. Started the postseason one for 20. Six home runs and 11 games since then. But in a one and two hole here. Shows Buck with two strikes, pops it up, back, and strike three. And the Houston Astros are three outs away from their second world championship. A merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out of sight. T Mobile won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. Plus, families get over $225 in benefits every month. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So how's civilian life treating you? It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because it felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone, 
maybe you are fine. But if you're not, it's okay. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Mercedes-Benz is turning electric completely on its head, bringing legendary design and state-of-the-art technology to a fully electric SUV. The all-new, all-electric EQB from Mercedes-Benz. Cleaning is the worst. Seriously, there's got to be a better way. So we gave Swiffer a shot. If we don't love it, we get our money back. Spoiler alert, love it. Sweeper's heavy-duty dry cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than my broom that can push it around. It even gets into hard-to-clean grooves and grout lines. Cool. And Swiffer Duster gets in all those hard-to-reach places, trapping three times more dust. <laughs> yeah, switching to Swiffer, totally worth it. Love it or your money back. Discover Card could reduce the number of unwanted calls and emails. Introducing Discover Online Privacy Protection. Discover will help remove your personal data from 10 popular people search websites. Online Privacy Protection. New, free, and from Discover. Are we here to win? Or are we here to enjoy some crisp barefoot Pinot Grigio? Sure, wine and football can be complicated, but enjoying them should be easy! Yeah! Well, let's enjoy ourselves! Dusty Baker, who originally signed with the Atlanta Braves out of high school, broken in the majors, bat behind Hank Aaron, got traded to the Dodgers, where he won a championship as a player in 81. He's managed five franchises. He's taken them all to the postseason. More than 1,800 hits, more than 2,000 wins. The only other guy that can say that, Joe Torre. The only thing missing, a ring as a manager. And here in his 25th year, 2,093 wins under his belt, the most of any manager without a world championship. Finds himself, as Astros find themselves, three outs away. David Robertson on to handle the bottom of the eighth. Ball on Jordan Alvarez. Who at this point has the swing that they'll always talk about in this game six if this score holds. Bryson Stott stays in the game and plays short. Brandon Marsh into the game in center. One and two on Alvarez. Three run homer in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. That's a dream. That was game one. Two run homer. Off of Luis Castillo. That was in game two. In between there was some rough go. There wasn't some locked in. You'd think he'd be locked in. Some days off take you away from your rhythm. In game six, third swing, or third big swing of the series. Down swinging here, and they ain't going to remember those no. strikeouts and the five for 42 in the middle of the big swings. They remember the big moments, the moments that last. And he's got a few of them. For the Phillies in the ninth inning, they'll have two, three, and four coming up against Presley. Astros looking to add on a little bit here with the heart of their lineup. Alex Bregman spins this one back foul. Now Dusty, we're talking about this earlier, has friends all over the world pulling for him. It's really not hyperbole to say that. 54 years in the game. That's 54 years of teammates and foes and all those players that played for him. Outside the game, it's a list of who's who. I mean, he's friends with Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg. Friends with Joe Namath and Rob Lowe. He once partied with Jimi Hendrix. And he surely got friends up in heaven looking down, pulling for him too. Everybody from Satchel Page to Hank Aaron to Tommy Lasorda. Oh, 2 Ball one. And no bigger fans up there watching than his parents. Gus has said before the game today, when he does let himself reflect on this whole thing, if it does get to this moment where he's able to get what he's always wanted, 
That's who he's going to think about first, his parents, including his mom, Christine, who passed away in January. Two and two on Alex Bregman. So he'll think of them. Countless people are thinking of him. Robertson's 2 2. Full count on Bregman. said the Astros one through five had to do most of the damage they did it again yep four runs that scored top four in the lineup another three two is a curve and it's hooked into left field a base hit for Bregman Schwarber grabs it Bregman on his way to second Schwarber's throw not in time and a double for Alex Bregman. Well, we see this replay. I think it's going to be an incredible slide by Bregman. And Schwarber made a nice play and a throw that got on the right side of the bag, which made Segura have to swing around and put the what looked like an easy tag of an out. But watch him pull that outside hand to the outside part of the bag. Ooh. Wow. It's going to probably. Out and out. But look at that. This is the sweep tag across the bag. And that gets his finger. Mm. We're going to talk about a game of inches. Whew. What a shot. What a crew we're lucky enough to have. With Fox Sports. And what uh, flexibility he's Eesh. lucky to have on that finger. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh. Playing the waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> that means more than one thing at this point. The call here. And the celebration. I hope he's coming shortly. So what? That finger's got him stinging right now. He's got like five months to rest it. If they can hang out here. Jane Segura saying, <laughs> I've got it. Never in doubt. Gene's an expert, broke his finger earlier this year. Pass on some advice to Alex. How to heal it fast. This is obviously a big call here. They're going to be sure that they're going to get it right. After Bregman, it's Tucker. Astros got four runs in the six. Trying to add on here in the eighth, and here's your call. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. So as the Phillies come up in the ninth inning looking for a miracle rally, keep that one in mind as they face Ryan Presley. Well, tomorrow you've got a chance to win a hundred grand of Terry Bradshaw's money on Fox Bet Super Six. Just get the free Super Six app on your phone now and enter your six picks in the NFL Sunday Challenge Contest. Two out, and here's Tucker. Oh. 
One ball, no strikes. Timelessly cool, that man. 73 years old, Dusty Baker. One ball, one strike on Tucker. And his closer, Ryan Presley. Five out save in game five. Off day yesterday came at a good time following that. Ready for his chance to lock this one down. Looking for his first ring. Shot foul one and two. Oh my. Look out over there, huh? Took it out of the glove. Put it in the dugout. Astros trying to do something that's not been done in almost a decade. That is clinch at home. Last team to clinch at home, the Red Sox. And 2013, it was nine years ago, last time it happened. Tucker pops it into center field. Schwarber will make the call and the catch. Fasten those seat belts. To the ninth inning we go in game six. Two, three, and four coming up for the Phillies. Ryan Presley coming on with the Astros three outs away. <sighs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things I hate dropping. Balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. And Verizon's new Welcome Unlimited plan for just $30 a line. Verizon for $30? Yeah, it's their best unlimited price ever. I'm switching now. And getting the network you want for $30? <gasps> Touchdown! Oh! Touchdown! Everyone can get Verizon for just $30 a line. And now's the time to switch because you'll get up to $960. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. To name yourself after the highest peak in North America... Maybe that's audacity. But towering above is exactly what the first ever all-electric GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1 is built to do. With 754 horsepower and up to a GM estimated 400 miles of range on a full charge, it is the Denali of EVs. The Sierra EV Denali. Es casi cielo llegar a casa. Toda la costa, montaña sin fronteras. Country roads taking me home. Al lugar de donde soy. Tierra linda. Brindemos por nuestra forma de vivir la vida. That's the thing about claims, you see, they, they don't happen on your schedule. I mean, take a chestnut. It doesn't just say, oh, beg pardon, sir, but it's now a good time for a jolly bit of window cracking. Oh, I mean, if they did, you wouldn't need a Geico claims team that's available 24-7. Well, near as I can tell, chestnuts don't talk. Or maybe they're just really quiet. Geico, your claims team is here for you 24-7. Well, got things to do, Mr. Chestnut, so... Uh... Peaceful state. Full plate. Wait, are you my blind date? Dancing crew, trip for two. Now the final interview. Buy or lease. Masterpiece. Inside joke. Artichoke. Game with Doug. Brand new mug. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. Boosters designed for COVID-19 variants are now available. Brought to you by Pfizer and BioNTech. When you get Domino's delivered, you can get any two or more mix and match items for $6.99 each. And now we're adding $6.99 Parmesan bread bites and what happened to the other lava cake? Sebastian. Yeah, that's weird. Get two or more mix and match items delivered for $6.99 each. Ryan Presley, who got a five out save in game five, is on there for the ninth inning. Astros three outs away from a world championship. This guy has been dynamite. Yeah, he has, and it's really because of his breaking balls, and they just don't hit it. In the year, it's only 138. It got even better in the postseason, 111. Having trouble with the uh, pitch count here, the device in his hat that lets him hear the signs from Martin Maldonado. Not often that happens in your home uh, stadium, but it's not often you pitch in any home stadium with a chance to win the World Series. As they get this figured out, 
Reminds you that the World Baseball Classic is back, an exclusive on Fox, all beginning March 2023. Go to worldbaseballclassic.com for more information. That man there is going to play for Team USA. He's going to bat third in this ninth inning. It's Hoskins, Rio Muto, and Harper against Presley. Well, uh, the state and obvious, uh, every closer knows, no matter what the situation is, get the first hitter out. Hoskins, who is 0 for his last 13. Swings and misses. Strike one. You grind hard no matter what the circumstances are. Obviously, if it's just a one-run game, it's one swing can tie the game. But he has three runs to work with. But you don't want that leadoff guy to get on. A little bit outside, one ball, one strike. Ryan Presley came over at the deadline in 2018, so he's looking for his first ring. So many of these Astros are. Presley's 1 1 pitch. Bounce foul, and it's 1 and 2. Again, if you haven't seen Presley throw much, he doesn't throw anything straight. Everything cuts. He has tremendous spin on his pitches. So a cutter that is going to be his version of a fastball. And then he throws a knuckle curve that is so fast that it breaks so quickly. The hitter has really little time to recognize it. Hoskins starting the ninth. Pops it up. Tucker. Astros two outs away. You know what we talk all the time and we you've, you've mentioned what this would mean to the players what this would mean to Dusty Baker. You know who we forget that it means the most to probably the fans mm -hmm. the home fans here that get a chance. to get one without any asterisks. Fans deserve it. Town deserves it. 4-1 in the ninth inning. Bases empty, one gone. JT Realmuto lines the ball into center field, and the Phillies have hope. Realmuto with the first hit since Schwarber's home run in the sixth. And that's why getting the first hitters out out is so huge because now with a runner on you're always one pitch away from getting out of the inning for the double play and you also know that this man can't tie it up. When you're a closer you don't care about your sexy stats you just care about walking in to end the game before they tie it up. And you look back to that insurance run brought in by Christian Vasquez with a two out base hit. Looming yeah. large now instead of Harper representing the tying run. Tying run in the on deck circle in the form of Nick Castellanos. Harper is 0 for 3 here in game 6. He slices a pop in the left. Jordan Alvarez. The Astros are one out away. They won their first World Series in their 56th year in 2017. They got back in 2019. They won 107 games that year. They led the World Series 3-2 to two and then fell short. Last year, last year they got there again. They were favored again and fell to the Braves. Another shot and an out away. And a lot of cell phones out to capture the moment. <laughs> Castellanos. There goes the runner. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros world champions.
Dusty Baker has his ring. In his 25th year as a manager. Guy that brought credibility and stability back to the Astros in the wake of the scandal. Guy that's been in baseball for more than 50 years. He's a baseball legend. He's a beautiful human being. And he has the ring that everybody wanted him to get. You know, you're through the Astros and that core five players we're talking about as you watch this replay. Everything comes full circle right here. And you feel like you're stuck in quicksand with so much over your head, so much explaining, and it carries over for a long time. Well, you know what? They got out of it. And Dusty Baker got out of his. And what a moment for Houston and what a moment for the city. You know, Dusty Baker was a finalist for the Phillies job when they hired Joe Girardi in 2020, and he was crushed when he didn't get it. And he goes back home to California, and he talks with his son, Darren, and Darren says, Dad, maybe you weren't supposed to get that job. Maybe you got to be patient to go where you're meant to be. A week later, the phone rang. It was the Houston Astros. The right man at the right time for the right team. And now world champion as a manager for the first time as the Astros beat the Phillies in six games in 2022. Down to that party. Here's Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. Jose, you were on third base when Rodon hit that three-run homer. What did you think when you saw that ball travel 450 feet? You know, I, obviously I knew as soon as he hit that one, it was a big, big fly. First time I see that in this ballpark. But, you know, I just was happy because I know how good our guys are in the bullpen. And, you know, by that time, I, I thought 3-1 would be a good lead for us to give us a chance to win the game. But then Christian came up behind him and get the big, uh, our, the fourth run. And, you know, like I said, we're just happy I, we won. Dusty Baker. What does he mean to this team, Jose? You know, him, he means everything. Like I said many, many times, he came here at the right time and, you know, came here in the right team and, and, and won his first uh, World Series. Jose, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Now over to Tom Verducci. Thanks, Ken. Martin Maldonado, whenever they talk about the 2022 Astros, they'll talk about the rally that began with you. Tell me about your approach with Wheeler, against Wheeler, leading off the inning, and how you moved up closer to home plate and why you know it was running that sinker in really good uh, through all the game we were chasing sinkers in so i know I, right there i gotta get on base you know my job leading off gotta get on base so i said let me get closer as close as i can don't move hopefully hit you martin every game in this series your pitcher struck out at least 10 batters 12 more today describe the job that this entire pitching staff did to win the world series you know, they, they, this pitching has been amazing all year. The bullpen, our bullpen been really, really good. You know, Flambert battled too on um, first couple of innings, but he settled down. Um, you know, we believe in each other. They, they, they trust me, they trust them, and, uh, you know, I'm just super excited for the moment. Martin, thanks so much. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you. Back to you, Joe. Well, the Astros do it. A cautionary tale of 2019. They came back home with a 3-2 lead. They sealed the deal. They don't mess around. They don't let it get to a game seven. With a sixth inning where they score four runs right after Kyle Schwarber put the Phillies in front and inspired hope in Philadelphia that this could get to a seventh game. But they had the response immediately in support of Framber Valdez and in support of Dusty Baker. A champion for the first time. Back down to Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. You're Don Alvarez. That was the fourth time this series you faced Alvarado. How much of a difference did that make? Uh, no, yeah, I think every single time I went up there a little bit anxious. I, obviously, we know he has a great sinker. This time, what I did, I just tried to stay a little bit calm, select a good pitch to swing at, and that's, I, I, that's what I did. Going around the bases, what was the feeling like? Yeah, 
amazing. When I when I was running second base, I felt the whole stadium moving. I think it was just all the fans. Your parents were here tonight. How much does it mean to you, Jordan, that they were able to see this? No, mucho, mucho. Obviamente no estaba teniendo una buena serie mundial y la y la fe que ellos siempre me brindaron, que confiara, tuviera confianza, las cosas van a salir bien y salieron. Yeah, that, great, great. Um, obviously, I wasn't having a great series, but they always put all their faith in me, and thankfully, we were able to do this. Jordan, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joe, back to you. Kenny, this has already been a special run for him because for the first time he's been able to share it with his parents who until this August couldn't get to the United States from Cuba. Got here in August. They've been here since. They just watched their son win a World Series and play a central role in doing so with a legendary home run still sailing over the batter's eye. That pitch, that ball is going to keep sailing forever. Coming up, we've got the Willie Mays World Series Most Valuable Player Award presented by Chevrolet. We the champs, certified, champions, verified. This time they finished the job. The Houston Astros, world champions. Join the celebration and bring the game home with official on-field tees, caps, jerseys, and much more. Certified champions, official stamp. Certified champions, verified. Everything you need is at MLBShop.com. Dear Santa, I know I asked for a lot last year, but this year is different. All I want is the U.S. to win the World Cup. This is the team that's going to make a run. All we have to do is believe. That's like your whole thing. Have you seen this? There's more. I believe. In a matter of days, it's the biggest night in politics, and the 2022 midterms live on Fox News. With the balance of power on the line, we take you inside the states that everyone will be watching and break down the biggest races in America. With the country's key issues at stake, our team has up-to-the-minute results and analysis from across the nation and an unmatched multi-platform experience, so you're always in the know. This one night could change the course of history. In a matter of days, it's Democracy 2022 on Fox News. Your freedom, your vote. It was raining so hard, it would not stop. I put my feet on the ground, and there was water everywhere. I got in my Jeep, and I sat there from 4.30 to 7.30. They pumped out a 1,000 gallons of water. You're powerless. There's absolutely nothing you can do. I'm the proud daughter of a maid and a janitor. They taught me to always show up and work hard. That's how I became chief of police. With rising costs, Marco Rubio isn't showing up to help. And when he does, he hurts Florida. Rubio missed almost every committee meeting for seniors, then voted against lowering prescription prices. But he will show up to gut Social Security and Medicare. I'll show up to protect them. I'm Val Demings, and I approve this message. It's a Fly 90s party on a special night, and the new costumes have everyone tripping. This could be Mario Lopez. Scott Wolf. John. Game over. Ken's oh. The Masked Singer, all new on a special night tomorrow at 8 on Fox. I didn't want to do it because I had to. It's dangerous. I can make this right. You have my word. Not only want you to face your fear, we want you to smash it. I understand it's impossible not to think the worst, but I want you to know that we will get your baby back. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Alert, series premiere January 8th on Fox. Wait for it, wait for it. Wow! Oh, my! Congratulations, you are the champion. Let the celebration begin. November 13th. November 13th. An iconic showdown. Shaped by history. Fueled by passion. A rivalry. rivalry. Reborn. Cowboys, Packers, November 13th on Fox.
All the scoring in this game six. Coming in the six, the Astros four, the Phillies won the final in the decisive game of the World Series. And the Astros are champions for the second time in franchise history for the first time since 2017. We welcome you back in. Thanks for being with us for this World Series. Joe Davis, John Smoltz, and so many memorable moments to this fall class. Really, I, I can't think of, of storylines that were as great as they were here. Philadelphia, yeah. what an incredible journey. And then, of course, Houston gets to cap it off with all that they've been through. This really was a great World Series, and um, Dusty Baker got his. Yeah, in his 25th year as a manager, Dusty Baker gets a ring for the first time. We're going to go down to the field. Kevin Burkhardt, take it away. Here with Commissioner Rob Manfred. Minute Maid Park, can you hear me? Try one more time. Minute Maid Park, can you hear us? There we go. Well, how about a little louder for your World Series champion, Houston Astros? Let's hand out the trophy, right? We got the owner, Jim Crane of the Astros, James Click, the general manager. The manager, Dusty Baker, is here. And here we go, Commissioner. The Houston Astros had a great regular season, just completed an incredible postseason run. They give the fans here in Houston the very best that baseball has to offer. It's now my honor and pleasure to give the commissioner's trophy to Jim Crane, the owner of the 2022 World Series champion, Houston Astros. Jim, congratulations, and how sweet does the second one feel? Well, it's great, but Houston, we did it again. Without you, we're not here. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Just a couple quick words. Great fans, uh, great ops team, James group, Dusty's group, all the great players, and from the bottom job in this stadium to the top, Everyone contributed. We love you all. James, come on over. As the uh, architect of this whole unit, what is the most gratifying thing for you to see it come to this? Just to be on the stage with this team, with Dusty, with Jim, with all the players, to be in front of our fans here in Houston. Thank you. You did this. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, let's see. This morning, Dusty Baker had managed the most games ever without a World Series title. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now they quit talking about it. Has it hit you yet? You got mobbed in the dugout after it was over. You had to hold on to the fence so you didn't topple over. Yeah. Has it hit you yet, Dustin? Oh, it hit me all right. <laughs> it, it hit me through that ball. You're not hit over the, over the moon out there. That's when it hit me. What has been the most enjoyable thing about this whole run for you? Well, uh, I... Now, that had not sunk in yet, to tell you the truth. But, you know, how about them Astros? <laughs> hey, listen, this is the greatest, greatest bunch of guys. They told me in spring training that they were going to win it. Now, what's next? Uh, party. Party. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty, enjoy it. Dusty Baker. Oh, man. Thank you. All right. We have uh, one more trophy to hand out. The Willie Mays Most Valuable Player presented by Chevrolet. Um, can we have Jeremy Pena? Right here. That's all yours.
What is it like to win the World Series? I mean, this is what we dream about. Houston, we love y'all. Let's go. Jeremy, you're the second rookie ever to win MVP of the LCS and of the World Series. How did you do it? I mean, shout out to these guys. You know, these guys kept me within myself, you know, their preparation every single day. And uh, individual awards are cool and all, but that's the trophy we want right there. Put the camera on that right there. Let's go. Un saludo para mi gente latina. Lo queremos, wey. What was your reaction? You were right in the middle of the rally when, as Dusty said, Jordan put that ball on the moon. What was your reaction right off the bat? I mean, our job was to get on base, pass it off to the next guy, and, you know, Jordan's been doing it all year, so, uh, you know, always trust the big man. You know, that, that was impressive. Gold glove, ALCS MVP, World Series MVP, Jeremy Pena. Congrats. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your World Series champion, Houston Astros. Joe, let's go back to you. All right, KB and uh, Jeremy Pena, the first rookie position player ever to win World Series MVP. After he wins American League Championship Series MVP, every step of the way, this guy answered questions. He hit 400 in this World Series and a very deserving winner. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling to be this young and to have the rest of your career be marked by two MVP. The sky's the limit for this young man. What a year, what a season. Astros are world champs. Dusty Baker is a world champ. And we've got plenty more coverage coming up from Houston. Kevin Burkhardt and the boys recap game six. And these six games, Astros over the Phillies in 2022. Hello. I saw you move in, and I wanted to welcome you to the neighbourhood with some homemade biscuits. Oh, that's so nice. And a little tip. Geico could help you save on homeowner's insurance. Oh. Cookies. Uh, biscuits. Hmm. Is there a little nutmeg in there? Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. You can tell me. It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Call Geico and see how easy saving on homeowners and condo insurance can be. I'll come back for the plate. Look at that freshly sliced turkey. At Jersey Mike's, there's some things you just gotta see. Like those lovebirds over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's deep eaten. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Send no blitz. Send no blitz. When I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Today, let's paint with Bear Dynasty so that you can be proud of your walls. Go ahead, throw your wine on it. What? It's also scuff resistant. Bear Dynasty, the best of bear, exclusively the Home Depot. Every time you order a hot sub from Jersey Mike's, it's grilled fresh. I call it dinner and a show. Look at that sizzle. Eat. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Dear Santa, I know I asked for a lot last year, but this year is different. All I want is the U.S. to win the World Cup. This is the team that's going to make a run. All we have to do is believe. That's like your whole thing. Have you seen this? There's more. The World Series on Fox post-game show is brought to you by Tubi. The Houston Astros are World Series champs. They had six games over the Phillies, and this game had everything. Great pitching, a monstrous home run from Jordan Alvarez, and the celebration, and the first one as a manager. Long time coming for Dusty Baker, and it's a complete scene down here on the field at Minute May. The confetti still floating in the air, and man, what a night. Frank Thomas, David Ortiz, Alex Rodriguez, and I see uh, 
I see our special guest coming over right now. My dog. There is Dusty Baker. Gonna enjoy this every second of it. I tell you. That's the final chapter to the movie. <laughs> All right, we'll get Dusty seated here. <laughs> Long time no see, Dusty. Ooh. Congrats. Yes, sir. My man. Hey, that's a good one. Hey, yes, sir. Come on, though. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. At the game, what's next? What's next? <laughs> I said if I win one, I want to win two. That's oh! Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, man, I'm so happy. I was, I was just thinking about my my mom who passed in January and my dad and Hank Aaron last year and all, all the guys that helped mold and make me the man that I am. And uh, I'm so happy that actually it took this long because I would have been gone a long time ago. And then, you, you know, then you affect, affect the players' lives and their families, and that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, Dusty, right. you've been one of the best mentors, players, coach, players, managers this game has ever seen. I mean, and for me as a young African-American player, you've meant so much to us. You're a huge inspiration. I'm so happy tonight that you got this victory because I'm tired of hearing all those narratives. Yeah, yeah, I'm just tired of it. Tired of it's it. your I'm, moment. This is oh, your oh, night. This is your time. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. And all I hear about what I can't do, but you know, my mom and dad taught me perseverance. And yes. you got to persevere. You got to believe in yourself. And there's a lot of people around the country that were pulling for us. That's right. right. Especially yeah. people yeah. of color. Yeah. Especially there are yeah. people That's of color right. everywhere I go. And people of non-color. So, hey, man, we are family. <laughs> yes, sir. That's right. Baby. That's right. That's right. Hey, Justin, you've yeah. been such a role model for Poppy, Big Her, myself, and thousands, if not millions, of other people of color, of any color. But my question to you is, you were so close with the Nats, with the Cubs, with the Giants. Yeah. Did you feel the time would never come? How satisfying is this for you right now? Well, I didn't know if the time was going to come when I couldn't get a job. But I knew if I got a job, mm -hmm. the time is going to come. That's right. You know what I mean? And you keep, you keep, you keep, you keep uh, turning and you keep keep hustling and you keep you stay with it. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I just and, uh, remember sitting with you at the steakhouse yeah, you know, that night. Some people get it in day one and some yeah. people get it. You know, like I, I talked to Scat Man Brothers years ago. <laughs> yeah, he used to be on Chico and the Man. And I asked Scat, I said, hey man, how are you still doing this? He said, Dusty, 50, and he was old then. He said, 15 years of pleasure is worth the 60 years of struggling trying to get here. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. That, yeah, and I was like, you know, I've always stuck in my mind. Dusty, I, I, I mentioned this on the podium a moment ago, but if you can look at her, I just want to, if you look at the monitor, take us through this moment for you. <laughs> what are you feeling right about there? Well, actually, I'm feeling that they're swarming all over me. I, it was all my coaches and, the, and all the, you know, clubhouse people and stuff. They were as happy for me as I was. And, but it was about us. I kept seeing those signs like do it for Dusty and the players would say, hey, man, we're going to do this for you. Framber told me this before the game. He told me this before the series even started, before the playoffs even started. Wow. And I'm like, hey, man, that's that's cool and everything, but let's do it for us. And let's do it for the city of Houston and do it for hopefully all this stuff that we've been going through the last three years. Hopefully it's over. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you got to let, let it ride. You know what I mean? Because these guys... Are some good ball players. Yes. Great ball players. You definitely do. Let me ask you a question, Dusty. You have a guy like Pena, new kid coming in, trying to figure it out. All of a sudden, he left everything on that field. World Series MVP. Right. I mean, what kind of type of blessing is that for you? Well, you know, that that's great because I think about my own son could be in that situation. And I think about the guys on the taxi squad because Pena was on the taxi squad last year at this time. So I urge them all, you don't know you could be next year's Pena yes, because you don't know how close to start them that you are. All you need is the opportunity. You got to make the best of the opportunity. And I got to commend Pena's mom and dad, Ronnie Moore and his mother, because they did a heck of a job raising a fine young man. On that key. Where's the party tonight? Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh.
Pop, you love the party. Oh, you know, man. You don't really know. <laughs> so happy for you, Dusty. Thank you, bro. So I love you, man. You, man. I'm so glad you put all, all that stuff to bed. Right, You're a great brother. man, Dusty. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Dusty, congrats, congrats, congrats to you. Congrats. Congrats. Enjoy every second. Really. Justin Verlander, we're going to get him in here now. He's going to enjoy himself. I guarantee you that. There is no doubt. We're going to bring Justin on in here. Here he comes. What's up, JB? <laughs> How are you? Great. All right, all right. Wonderful. Oh, I bet. I mean, your manners honestly, is ready I think to never go. Better. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? How are you guys? Congratulations. Great to see you gentlemen. You deserve it, buddy. I appreciate it. Very nice. JV, you've done it all. We've talked about it all month long in October. What an incredible career you've had. And this is the best version of Justin Verlander. How satisfying was that game yesterday? And without it, you don't have tonight. You know, I would have rather, you know, a little bit of an easier game. But, um, you know, sometimes the toughest games are the ones that you come out of feeling the best. Um, it, was a, it was a difficult game. Um, you know, these guys, they're hot. They have a great lineup. And, and they didn't make anything easy on us. Um, but to come out and get the monkey off my back. And, uh, you know, after the game, I told Dusty, you know, I finally exercised my demons. We got one more. And uh, that's, to, that's to get you a championship. And thankfully, we were able to pull it off. Well, you both exercised those demons. <laughs> Big World Series championship. A couple of months, be looking at your next Cy Young Award. <laughs> Have you thought about that yet? Um, I'm going to be lying if it didn't <laughs> pop in my mind. Um, <laughs> congratulations, man. You know, man. I appreciate it. I, you can't say well no, no, no. You don't say congratulations yet. I, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I hope it happens. But, I mean, you guys know that you guys have been in the grind, how hard it is. Rehab, especially, is never easy. And I don't know if I could have. I don't. I, I definitely couldn't have written a better story than, than to be here right now. Justy, let me tell you something, brother. I know you are free agent after this season. I know you are 39, but guess what's going to happen with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to baptize you. Pay the man. Where the money at? You're out of money. What happened? Give me more money. Hey, this is real money. money. <laughs> Don't take it to the store. Don't take it to the store. <laughs> You're scaring his daughter. <laughs> she's all right. Jesse, your daughter you is adorable. I, I mean, she's just it. smiling for the camera. Like, yeah. she's loving every I second mean, of this, been, too. She's been a part of this ride from the beginning. Um, really and truly such a blessing. Uh, when, I, when, I did, when I knew I needed rehab, it was one of those things that, you know, I, I, I knew I'd never get. I hadn't had a summer off since I was five years old, you know. And, and to have this little girl here at home and get to come back to her every single day uh, and just have her be part of this journey, um, really puts things in perspective, um, and, and I think it's helped me be more present. And uh, man, just uh, I, it's quite overwhelming to be honest. What was your immediate reaction when Jordan hit that ball out of the yard? I mean, that thing was a oh. rocket. I, I don't. I, <laughs> I mean, it's rare that you see one hit the center like that, and you just absolutely know it's gone. I mean, the emotions are so high. I mean, you're on the edge of your seat. Obviously, you know they threw a punch. And we did what we've done all year. You know, we came right back and threw a haymaker. Um, and, you know, Jordan did it, uh, but but top to bottom, I think you saw in this series particularly how many different ways we can win a ball game, from pitching to defense to base running to slugging. Whatever we need to do to win, we're able to do it. Hey, JV, look at the monitor right here. We're going to show you <laughs> you celebrating with, with your family. Tell me what's going through your mind right now. We're going to pop it up here in a matter of minute. Uh, just a lot of emotion, man. Just a lot of, you know, just looking back and a lot of the hard work. And like I said, I don't, you know, if I, I, I couldn't have written this myself. You know, you dream of these moments. You don't know if they're ever going to really be here, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. This is my crew, man. Here. This is my crew. Hey, congrats, two, congrats. These two got me through it. I did a A plus cheering. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like for you, Kate? I mean, this whole Justin was just talking about the rehab and spending family time and how great that was. So what's this all been like for you? Um, it's such an incredible experience. I mean, having Justin home and being able to be together as a family is so amazing. And then to go to the exact extreme and be here at the World Series and then win is just so exciting and so worth it. We miss him every time. <laughs> I had a question play. for you. 
You want him to retire or play one more year? <laughs> one more, Papi. One more. No way. No. I know. Wow. Papi he's got this till he's 45. Oh, What's going on? No, no, no. I love watching my husband do it. I'm a journalist. That is the most Did you see how he pissed this year? Are you crazy? They've been so supportive. Yeah, yeah. to see him do what he loves. Did you see him do his craft? He's such an artist out there. When he's pitching, it's truly so creative. It's such an art. And we are so honored to be here. All right, all right. Hey, there we go. There we go. Hey, go enjoy it, Justin. Congrats. Congrats to all of you. Congratulations and have a comeback here. All right. Well, that's a good start. Dusty Baker, Justin Verlander, the Houston Astros are World Series champions again. Yes. Second time in the last six years. We'll hear from Rob Thompson of the Phillies and more. Post game continues on Fox. Venture X-Card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Ooh, my lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Sure stay. Going up? And 10 times miles now. on hotels through Capital One oh. Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. White wine, please. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? I'll be back in a sec. We can't wait forever. All your nacho fries, please. Fries. Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only at Taco Bell. All the fallout from an intense night at Crown Jewel. Plus Santos Escobar versus Shinsuke Nakamura. An all new edition of Friday Night Smackdown. Live at 8 Eastern, 7 Central on Fox. It's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Showtime. Wow! Oh. There is a lot of pride on the line. Congratulations, you are the champion. Let the celebration begin. Running out of room and he makes it back! Back to the Wow. An emotional night for the champions. The Houston Astros do it in game six. Got a great pitching performance again from Robert Valdez. Their bullpen lights out. And Jordan Alvarez with a monstrous three-run home run. Ryan Presley got the big old champagne bottle. He's ready to go. The Astros bullpen, one of the best performances in postseason history. And we welcome you back to Minute Maid Park. It's still loud in here. And we're a long time since that game ended. But it's a party here in H-Town tonight as they reacted. Dusty Baker walking behind the camera now, too. Meanwhile, for the Phillies, look, an unbelievable year. They get in the postseason as a final spot in the playoffs and make it all the way to the World Series. Obviously, you never want to have it end like this. But Rob Thompson, gracious enough to give Tom Verducci some time. Thanks, Kevin. Rob, disappointing defeat, obviously. What did you tell your club? Uh, just the fact that I'm really proud of them. I really am. These guys played, came to play every day. They played hard. They worked hard. They were a great team. They really were. They stuck together, played hard together. Uh, I just love every one of them. It may be too soon, but looking back on it, is there a point where you thought maybe the series turned? Yeah, maybe on Schwarber's home run, you know, today. Uh, if, the, if that's what you're asking me. Um, but then we went, got into the uh, sixth inning, and, and Will's, we had first and third, and uh, Will still had his good stuff. I just felt like Alvarado was the best matchup there. Yeah, you said coming into this series, you liked Alvarado on Alvarez. We saw it four times. What happened in that one sequence today? Yeah, he just got behind, and then, you know, he threw a 99-mile-an-hour fastball, and Alvarez just beat him to the spot, and... Uh, that's what good hitters do sometimes, and you just got to tip your cap to them. But uh, you know, it was great. It was a really good ball game, nonetheless. Thanks so much. Congratulations. It was a great series. Disappointing loss, I know, but thank you. Thank you.
Back to you, KB. All right, Tom. Rob, very uh, great of him to give time and gracious in that interview, as always. Frank, you know, it, it was a heck of a run for them. I yes. mean, these last two games were epic games that could have gone either way. You know, they, they had a great season. You can just tell Rob Thomas is a great man. He's very grateful for this opportunity this year to lead these men, these men to the World Series. That team... It's a special team. If they can keep that core together, you never know. They could be back here next year. They're very, very talented. They had a lot of fight, and they played their butts off. But someone had to lose. We all knew what Houston had in that bullpen, on that mound, and that's why they won the world championship. I mean, guys, look, we all know that once you get to this point of the season, all you're thinking about is taking that trophy home. But I'll tell you what, it was a hell of a run for the Philadelphia Philly. I mean, if you go back to May, you go back to June, and you look at where they were, and now all of a sudden they play in the World Series. That's a big step. That's a giant step. And it's a good sign for the Philadelphia Philly for the next year. They know they got so close. They need to get a couple of pieces to complete and come back and fight next year and win it all. I agree with both of you. I think the Phillies will be back. They have a world-class owner in John Middleton. Alster and Dombrowski and a great man, Rob Thompson, so graciously uh, just had a tremendous second half in postseason. Someone has to win, somebody has to lose. But to me, the biggest winner, Kevin, is Major League Baseball. What an incredible month for baseball. Some great themes coming back, starting pitching, contact, defense, the Philly fan base, the Astro fan base, and everything else. I think baseball is the best I've seen it in over 10 years, fellas. Well, fellas, it's uh, it's always a pleasure being with you. Another postseason, uh, yes. another postseason wrapped up. What a pleasure! What a great month it Love was. Love you, bro. And uh, I'm Poppy, good. I'll pick you up on Monday to go see Ricky Balboa. <laughs> Look forward to it. Jose Altuve has got the trophy walking around, and the Astros are world champs one more time. Champagne dreams tonight in Houston, and we will say goodnight. For those of you, most of you around the country, it's your late local news is next, except on the West Coast. The Astros, World Series champs. I'll see you when I see you.